Welcome to The Breakdown. I am your host, uh, De La Creme De La. It is my pleasure to bring you tonight's breakdown. Now, before I do, as you know, we're continuing to uh, review the Village of Dalton regular board meeting from November 6, 2023, post-admittance of a deficit. But before I begin... I want to just uh, I, I want to update something. You know, it's it's been a while since uh, I've done a live show, and when I do the live shows, I get in the habit of doing something that I haven't been doing at the top of these videos. So let me go ahead and just introduce to us um, an element that's very important here as we move about in the breakdown crew. Uh, well, first of all, who is the breakdown crew? You. You are the breakdown crew. If you've been attracted to this show, then you are part of the crew. We've got crew, we've got passengers, we've got staff, and we've got stowaways. As you know, we like to cruise over here. <laughs> So welcome to you. Now, there's something that we normally do, and our day ones are very familiar with it. This, uh, this place requires a couple house rules because we are thinkers. So, so let me just make sure that I establish the rules, okay? Uh, first rule, say it with me. This is not a no judgment zone. What does that mean? Well, I'll say it in a way that, that, that some, some people might enjoy. Uh, we say what we see and we see what we say. To be a little bit more verbose, don't tell me not to judge anybody. Don't tell me not to be so hard on somebody, okay? I, I just read through a comment. Uh, <laughs> gosh, it had to be about 20, 20 sentences long. It looked like one of Tiffany's comments, but it most likely came from Louis Lacey or his um trade lover, most likely. The, the guy told me I was too hard on Lacey because Lacey was being nice. <laughs> Man, shut up. This is not a no judgment zone. That's rule number one. Okay. We don't operate under any rules of spiritual abuse here. So you can't tell me not to judge. It's a gift I've been given. I have been given the gift to judge. I have been given the gift to see. Do I condemn? Absolutely not. That is not my place. That is for a professional judge. I play one on TV. <laughs> so like, like Judge Maybelline, I don't get the opportunity to take you all the way to conviction, but I will go ahead and drop that hammer and tell you what it is, okay? So if Louis Lacey is being extremely nice to someone who is supporting Tiffany Henyard, but I've seen him be downright nasty to someone who's not, then I'm going to call that shit what it is. Rule number two, this is not for kids. Don't tell me not to cuss. I'm in my house, minding my business. You came over here, okay? If you look very closely, if you scroll, uh, take a look at the description, it does not say this is for kids. This is not the YouTube Kids app. I am an adult, okay? I'm grown, and it's a part of what I do and how I do it. And I recommend that anybody who don't like no cussing, get yourself a YouTube channel. <laughs> go ahead and do things the way you want to do them because that's what I do. And your vibe will always attract your tribe. So don't worry about it, okay? Rule number two, this is not for kids, especially now. Shit, goddamn, Andrew Holmes fucked it up. Andrew Holmes done put a fucking monkey wrench in the goddamn shit. So now we got to really do some after dark shows when some of this information comes out because I am awaiting the complaint. I have filed a Freedom of Information Act request with the Illinois Department of Human Rights and I am awaiting the complaint. OK, I wasn't going to waste my time filing no FOIA with no goddamn Dalton because I already know what kind of time they own. OK, it's some things you just don't waste your good energy doing. Or somebody who's helping you or somebody who's doing something for you. You don't sin and delegate no responsibilities or do nothing for yourself that you know is going to turn out stupid. Because what we see already is that Keith is doctoring the documents. Anyway, that's rule number two. This is not for children. And there is a rule number three. But for the life of me, I can't seem to ever remember what it is. So, y'all, just be kind to each other. Uh... <laughs> 
Be respectful to each other in the chat. Please don't take this opportunity if you are non-black to, to pull up your most stereotypical racial slurs because we don't tolerate that here. You will be removed, honey. Okay, my my new my new uh, breakdown crew members who are males between 55 and 64. Please don't take this as an opportunity to talk about the thoughts and the ghetto queens. And the, I'll say those things. I can. This is my house. But we can tell if you if you are of the barbecue or if you are invited to the barbecue and my gates are closed if you haven't paid admission. OK, so if you are spectating the barbecue and you are allowed to chat because right now I do have it open, I'm feeling generous. I'm not making people subscribe because y'all chat up real good. And I know based on um, anybody's analytics that 97 percent of people that watch us are not subscribed as of yesterday or this morning. 82% of people who watch this channel consistently are not subscribed. I'm not mad at that. I'm doing better than average. And I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. That's a decision you make on your own. So I went ahead and left the chat open, but there are moderators present. So if you want to get into some stereotypical racist chat, this ain't the place for it. Okay? And we know the difference because there's some corny ass racist chat out there. We know the difference. Black people don't call each other monkeys. <laughs> Black people don't call each other welfare queens or thoughts. <laughs> it's just not words we use. Okay. We got a, a actual criticism of this woman that does not include her race. Okay. We got socioeconomic educational issues with this bitch, not racial ones. Okay. Her racial issues are with herself. All right. So anyway, what we're going to do, and I believe that's all the house rules. What we're going to do is we're going to continue uh, with the Village of Dalton regular board meeting. Um, right now, they're going into general announcement. I'm guessing this is going to be non-eventful, but I did want to watch it with you. I'm pretty sure it ain't going to be shit because um, they hadn't got to the point yet where they started actually uh, talking about some of the issues during general announcement. So if you don't mind, I'm actually going to play that part in two speed because right after that, they go into the Village report. And I found out some new shit about Ron, the engineer. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let me go ahead and open this up. Let's go. All right, go ahead. Good evening, residents. This Saturday, November the 11th, is tea with the trustees, 9.30 a.m. at the Lester Lone Field House. The address is 14700 Evers. And the two speakers for this Saturday's meeting is we're going to have a representative from Medicare and a representative from uh, CEDA. So please come out and see what these representatives have to offer. Also, the mobile DMV is coming to Dalton soon. So if anyone is interested in uh, registering for the mobile DMV, please see Trustee Brown or give me a call at 708-476-7951. And that is for the mobile DMV. If you want to get the real ID, then the mobile DMV will be out here to renew license. Uh, to get your uh, license, also to renew your state ID. But if you're interested in a real ID, the mobile DMV will be coming to Dalton soon. Thank you all. All right. Anyone else? All right. You want to say something, Trustee? Sure. All right. Good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who joined us at our... Uh, Wait a fucking minute. I didn't even take no notes because I wasn't expecting to have to. But how goddamn disadvantaged is Dalton that they got to spend a, send a mobile DMV? People can't... Y'all doing that bad that people can't find their way to Chicago or somewhere else? There's a whole Thornton Township. How come there's not a DMV at Thornton Township that serves those 17 communities? Come on, man. Really? From the Fear to Freedom event that was hosted by High Society Management a few weeks ago. Uh, we just discussed women and safety and uh, preventive tips. Uh, the summer, the winter is approaching us and it's getting dark a little bit earlier. Um, I'd also like to thank everyone who attended uh, my taxes, real estate, real and trust seminar. So we did have our board township assessor come out. Well, our assessor assists residents with appealing their taxes. Um, just so residents know, you can appeal your taxes. Uh, you should be appealing your taxes twice a year. Um, if you're not following our Don't Trust These page for these upcoming events, please do so. Or feel free to contact me at 708 968 4297. So you can be added to our list so that I can let you know about upcoming events. Thank you. All right, anyone else? I'd like to recognize me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, good evening, residents. I'd like to say, um, uh, Supervisor Tippy Hendrick, uh, Thorn Township Board, uh, asking if anyone need assistance with our basic needs, utility assistance, rental assistance, mortgage assistance, burial assistance, and mental health assistance. Walking is all acceptable. 9 to 3, you can call 596 6040, extension 3132, or either 3135. That's if you have any assistance, come to Thorn Township 333, East 162nd Street. That's brought to you by Supervisor Tiffany Hendrick and the Thorn Township Trustees. Also, Thorn Township Supervisor Tiffany Hendrick and the Board of Trustees. Visit the food pantry every Wednesday from 10 to 5 p.m. They also, also service senior food boxes delivery service available upon request. If you want food delivered once a month, 708-596-6040. Or you either can ride every Wednesday from 10 to 5 to 15400 Page in, in uh, Harvey, Illinois. That's every Wednesday. Also, Thorn Township 
supervisor and Henry and her board of trustees actually give out seniors 60 plus transportation schedule that you can ride throughout the 17 municipalities between hours of 8 and 5 Monday through Friday there's no limitation on where we can go or take you we will drive you anywhere in the township throughout the 17 municipalities also that number is 708-339-9980 to book a ride ride you anywhere throughout Thorn Township they will take you to Dallas's to the bank grocery shopping drop you off and actually come pick you back up that's Thorn Township supervisor and trustees but you gotta ask yourself Stan Brown the leader of finance why are the people of Dalton doing so bad and the people of the 17 communities of Thornton doing so bad that the city and the township has to provide transportation for them to go get their hair done? What's going on with the bus infrastructure? What's going on with the taxi cabs, the Waymos? Y'all ain't got them little robots <laughs> driving people around? People can't get scooters? Uh, the electric bikes that you guys got for the Springfield March that actually ended up being a bike ride. Y'all can't use those and convert those into rentable bikes. Y'all picking people up and driving them around. Like what plantation is this? Damn Brown. On November calendar, the Thornton Township is extended to all Thornton Township residents. November the 7th through the 9th. They will be serving ham, red potatoes, diced carrots, hood, and garden salads. November 14th through 16th, Italian sausages, mostly jelly, greens, butterscotch pudding, and garden salads. November 21st through the 22nd, turkey slice, mashed potatoes, corn, pound cake, garden salad. November 28th through the 30th, barbecue chicken, baked beans, banana pudding, and coleslaw. That's Thorn Township, 333 East, 162nd Street. Phone. Y'all, if that wasn't the nigga shit I ever heard, that nigga said banana pudding, something, something, and coleslaw. Think she up real good. Seven seven zero eight five nine six six zero four zero extension three one seven zero. Also, Supervisor Tiffany Henry and the Board of Trustees of Thorn Township has an after school program Monday through Friday from three p.m. to six p.m. at the Thorn Township Youth and Family Center located at one forty four hundred Halsted in Riverdale. Enrollment is open now for Thorn Township. Scan the barcode, which I have some flyers that can be passed out, and you can uh, you can reach out to any questions with the youth for the youth in the Thorn Township uh, initiative. Also, Thorn Township Supervisor Trustees of Thorn Township have a computer lab opening Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at 143-23 South Halsted, Riverdale, Illinois. Phone number 708-596-6040, extension 2000. Wait, Trina Downs, Trina Downs, who is uh, not on nobody's side, okay? Trina Downs ain't playing both sides against the middle. Trina Downs can't stand none of y'all. <laughs> I heard Trina Downs say, that's right, sister. Uh, Trina Downs said... Ride your bike and come on down. Y'all know Stan like to ride his bike when he got caught being part of that whole escapade with the whole Springfield trip. He told me, I was just riding my bike. Nigga, if you don't stop. Last but not least, Supervisor Thorn Township, Tiffany Hinyard, and the trustees of Thorn Township is having a turkey. I mean, by now, don't you know that Tiffany Hinyard is the supervisor of Thornton Township just by listening to the first seven announcements? God damn. She put her name on everything. I mean, what is the city going to be if she ain't there? <laughs> Superman. <laughs> I am giveaway. Fresh produce and food boxes. It will be given out at the Dalton Police Department at 14900 Greenwood Road in Dalton, Illinois. That will be November the 19th, 4 p.m. to 7. That will be November the 19th, 4 p.m. to 7. That will be given out to Thornton Township residents only. It will be on a first-come, first-served basis. That will be turkey and hams. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do have flyers that can be given out to you. And this is basically brought to you by... Um, Thornton Township Community <clears throat> Outreach Initiative. Uh, youngsters throughout Harvey, Dalton, Calumet City, Thornton, South Holland actually had a sit down and meet with Supervisor Mayor Tiffany Henry, and they want to be a part of being an initiative of being with uh, community outreach. So every day for the next year or two, you will have some youngsters to be knocking on your door, sharing all information that the Thornton Township is all. I honestly think Tiffany Henry gave him all the flyers and they said Super Mayor. And he said, man, he talked to his wife. And she was like, you better not get up there calling that bitch no motherfucking super mayor. Not if you want to keep access to this sweet pussy. <laughs> and he was like, how about I say supervisor mayor? Okay, okay, we could do that. <laughs> it's free of charge. Just be a resident of Thorn Township and you can actually be part of this. So when you see these youngsters come to your door, they're not looking to sell anything, sign anything. They just want to share this information that the township will be offered. And just go out through the whole Thorn Township. Uh, we have one of the uh, outreach community youngsters here right now, yeah. uh, Ms. Donis. Yeah. Would you please stand? <laughs> Funny, you get back work. This is one of the, the young individuals that uh, want to share some information. Trina Downs must have been smoking. 
<laughs> you know Trina Downs was sitting right in that meeting. <laughs> Cray. Listen, y'all remember when we would be in church and shit would be funny, but you couldn't laugh. <laughs> Trina Downs is sitting right in that room right now on YouTube, cutting the fuck up. Trina Downs said... <laughs> I hope I can deliver this right. Because this shit is funny as fuck in my head. She said, residents, we having a turkey ball. I'm going to try to say it like her. Hold on. Residents, we having a turkey ball right after. Roll them down, Sibley. Bowling with the trustees. Where they burning dookie every day. <laughs> she said, I don't understand. Why is we burning dookie Hold on, let me get back to this. I'm sorry. Trina Downs got me fucked up. That's why I actually include these live chats. And I know when we show the premiere, you're not able to see this stuff clearly. That's on YouTube. But definitely when it's done premiering and they've gotten all the versions uploaded, then you can see the comments and you'll be able to see what I'm cracking up at right now. <laughs> like me more, I'll reach out to students here. Okay, uh, can you take this here? This is going to be an ongoing, ongoing initiative. And this is your young people throughout the community want a chance to partner with the seniors in the community. So with that being said, uh, that is my report. Mayor, thank you. Thank you. He said the young people in the community want a chance to partner with the seniors. For what? <laughs> Sorry. For what? Is there any more general announcements? Okay, next we have Mayor's report. Um, thank you all for coming up to the podium with your concerns. I appreciate that. Oh. Jesus, I thought the village director's report was next. Oh, Jesus, I wasn't ready for her to speak. No, Jesus, I was not ready, y'all. Give me a minute. It was perfect in two speed. Like, I'll be honest with you. I think that's the way it should be, but I know I haven't watched this. I don't want to do it. Uh -huh, my right eye is crying. <laughs> what Tiffany Pollard say? <laughs> I'm having the inner cry. <laughs> Listen, I was, oh, Jesus. Y'all, have y'all ever had, like, when you were in school or at work or whatever, something you didn't expect that you had to be ready for and you were ready, for, completely ready for something else? Well, I haven't watched this video. I told you that already. I want to watch it with you. I know a lot of y'all have watched it, but I haven't watched it. So, I just assumed, because I just be expecting things to happen. You know, they, they talk all this God talk. I was expecting things to happen in decency and order. And it seemed like every single week, right after general announcements, is village director's announcements. So I wasn't ready for, it says general, okay, I wasn't ready for her to have her mayor's report right now. And I hate when this happens, because I know I got to change brains. Like, I could fuck with the village director's report. All they going to do is talk shit to the trustees for a few minutes, tell a couple lies about their numbers, you know, that sort of shit. And then we got to look at Stacey Carell up close and Kim's wig. But I wasn't ready for this, because I would prefer... I really honestly would prefer to watch her mayor's report on my own and see if there's anything that needs to be discussed and then work a show around that like I normally do. But I'm a little quarter off guard and we gonna go ahead. Ooh, Jesus. I can't stand this hoe. Ooh, Lord. Hey, you ever been around somebody be like, oh my God, what time am I going home? Ooh, I'm telling you. Uh, news folks, if you got a boss who sends you out on this story and you really don't want to, you done fucked up somewhere. This is like that boss that sends you to Iceland <laughs> for the summer. <laughs> but this is my calling. I chose to be here. So I'm going to take what comes with it. I ain't got no liquor. Oh, yes, I do. I got a bottle of wine. Um, Listen, you might have to come in the kitchen with me. Let's go ahead and let this this uh this uh cocaine unravel itself. 
put her on normal speed. And for those of y'all who need some captions, if you can tell the captions at the top are not lit up, I don't have an option to add captions. So I think it's because I have it in the display that I'm in. Um, either way, there won't be any captions. And I understand that her dialect is a little bit more Southern than some people might be used to. Um, and she talks even worse then that, no offense to whoever could be offended. Uh, but you just going to have to listen very closely. And I'll do my best to translate. I did have the pleasure of completing my undergraduate education in the Deep South. And I first started need, needed a transfer as a translator. As a matter of fact, uh, Wheezy's road manager, Cortez, was my translator. Uh, when I first got to Jackson State, he told me, like, you got to fix your face. You got to listen. And he, he would tell me what people were saying because I really had a hard time understanding. So, but I've gotten better. And I, I actually have been able to engage in conversation and even cook some good ass grits. So, uh, bear with me uh, while we listen to this together. And I pour myself, who is too early for wine? Jesus. It's too early for wine. I can't drink wine this early. Cause it's gonna put me out. All right, let me let me grab my nuts. Let's go. Um, someone will address your concerns if you would like. Stay after the meeting, and we can address them right then and there. Um, it's a lot been going on in our community. What saddens me is that every time someone cries wolf, um, they have the media come out and do fake news stories on our village. And I'm just tired of the nonsense as it relates to people that want to run to the media instead of working out whatever the differences are. Um, truth be told, every single time someone runs and then I have to go and clear it up and show you guys the facts on what they post. Because when they air something, and that's why it's called defam defamation of character, because they go and they post things about myself, about my administration that be so untrue. Um, I I hope that this news reporter here today will actually do facts and not just write things off of people such as trustees that's bitter or people that uh, may not be employed any longer, things like that. You shall always get the facts before y'all run a story, but y'all don't. Y'all run a story, then we have to clean up the mess. That's the part that bothers us the most. So one thing I want to say is tell you the things that we do actually here in the village. And I wish you guys would come out and report the positive things we do in our village, such as that ice rink slash roller rink that we built for our youth. They had nowhere to go, nothing to do. We have kept kids off the street. So you guys need to give credit when credit's due. And it's a shame that some older people will get up here and talk against things of positivity for the youth. Uh, we do a ton of things for the youth as trustee Stan Brown just ran its record. We we employ them throughout the whole entire year, not just seasonal. We employ them to come and do things that's uh, warranted for community involvement. And if anybody do anything seasonal, they can also apply to do uh, another position as long as they got the qualifications and they're willing to stay and give the time. So one thing I want to say is thank you to Donnie for um, staying strong because she is one of the youth that needed some direction. And I'm just proud that she came to Thorn Township to get that direction. So thank you, Donnie. Give, give a round applause guy because it's hard thank you and she's a single mom so i you know i concur so i always want to push them to tell them that's not the end of the road keep going but we have to pass the all right y'all know she gonna talk for a very long time i'm not gonna do that to you what i've been given the grace and the ability to do in this moment because I have to do this the way it needs to be done. I'm not going to have y'all sit and listen to this woman talk for 45 minutes straight and then give you notes on that. I'm not going to do that to you. Nobody wants to do that. If y'all wanted to do that, y'all would subscribe to her YouTube channel and nobody does that. So, you know, y'all were hoping I would watch her podcast and I wasn't going to put y'all through that. At some point, I was like, no, I'm not watching this. I'm not about to watch this woman defend herself against questions nobody asked. I went off on the camera so bad that it damn stopped. <laughs> it stopped before I was done recording. I was talking to my goddamn self for a good 35 minutes about how dumb this shit was for her to use people's money. And anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reply to what she has said so far. Okay. And then I'll cut in a little bit after I got a little bit more notes on whatever the fuck she's talking about right now. She goes between... Um, 
uh, Marcus Garvey and Martin Luther King, like the black scam artist and the, the peaceful warrior. Like, I don't get it. But anyway, I want to talk about what she has talked about so far that has been important or made some sort of sense. She talked about crying wolf when people cry wolf and bring the news in. Well, is your assistant crying wolf about being raped and drugged by Andrew Holmes? I don't have to say allegedly because I'm just asking the question. Uh, take notes as I teach you. I don't have to say allegedly because I'm, I'm just asking the question. I mean, was is your assistant crying wolf when she came to you and told you Andrew Holmes drugged and raped her? And he had the fucking dumbass nerve to call a police officer and brag about it and then go on FaceTime looking out of breath with his shirt off. I ain't read the complaint yet, but I'm, I'm thankful to those who have read it. And, and passed it down, some of the information. And she says she shows us facts, but she shows us undisputed facts. Facts that have not been reviewed or disputed. So those aren't facts. Those are still very much opinions. And has she ever won a defamation case? I mean, she threatened Jim Giglio and said, be careful with that. I've gotten people for discrimination. And he said, who? And she shut up. Tiffany's scared of white people, especially white men. That's why I think some things ain't going to happen in America until white people get mad. And I know they trying to stay out of this, but those of y'all who are rocking with this story and are spreading the good news about what's going on here, thank you very much. Just don't be racist. <laughs> don't say dumb shit. There are, all of us have great minds. Energy doesn't have a color. Energy doesn't have a culture. Energy doesn't have a background. Energy the energy of justice. So I don't look at this situation and say it's something only black people can talk about. White people shouldn't be talking about it. But I do think that we do need to set a standard and a house rule for how uh, uh, people who have white attitudes are allowed to engage. And for the most part, there haven't been very many problems. But, you know, it's that, it's that three out of ten. Anyway, that's why they have that hide button on uh, YouTube. But let me continue with my notes. I'd like to know if she has won any defamation cases since so she's talking about defamation. And she's here trying to intimidate the news, but saying they don't show when she does anything right. But she, they were there when she was passing out all that taxpayer paid for water and paying DeMarcus and Lacey and Collins overtime to go out and walk the streets with her. And Keith Wilkerson, <laughs> Keith Wilkerson, oh Lord, oh Lord, he must be thinking about me. I hope he's all right. Uh, Keith Freeman, um, why hasn't she given the news something good to talk about when they're at the meeting? They're at the meeting. She says they never come out when they do something good. Well, they're at the meeting right now. And all you're doing is talking shit. So what do you mean? You you give them. Listen, I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm gonna get, I'm not giving that to you. What I will say is this: if you don't give them nothing to see, they won't have nothing to see. You damn monkey. Y'all, I was at the monkey house today, and I'm not saying this on no traditionally racist shit. I'm talking about the dumbass antics. How I can always get a good video of an orangutan doing something stupid. Let's continue. Uh, and reach back to our youth and stop just pushing them back and not telling them that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. That's what you see before you. Uh, another thing that we're doing here in the community, the swimming pool. The swimming pool has been closed for years, meaning Melly's Fitness. And uh, when I became your mayor, again, the first African-American female mayor here in the village of Dalton, uh, making history. When I did that, um, my goal was to make sure I provide your needs, let alone your wants, but your needs. One thing was making sure our pool was back up and running. A lot of our seniors utilized that swimming pool and they went and they did their water aerobics. And so is um, the kids. That's what my goal is now. My goal is to make sure we allow the youth, in in including anybody else that want to do it, but I really care that the youth get their due process. And what I mean by that is they need swimming lessons. Because what I do find out 
from a lot of residents when we door knocking is they do not know how to swim. And I want you to be able to get on the boat. And if you happen to fall in the water, you can and will survive because you need to know how to swim. So we're going to offer, offer uh, free swimming lessons here in the village of Dalton once we get that pool up and running. Um, the problem has been the board of trustees have been voting it down. They don't want to repair the pool, but we have been repairing the pool and we on the last stages of repairing the pool. Next just ice rink again i announced last time that we need a manager for just ice rink at 14312 green let me start with this um let me say this <clears throat> let me say something about that just ice rink and then we'll continue to talk about that after i say what i'm about to say uh just in case i forget the whole just ice rink thing it bothers me that she's soliciting personnel uh, through a meeting that's some very john p key shit um that's some very hood shit to do um <clears throat> excuse me there are ways and i've said this before there are ways i was reminded recently um of my ex-fiance who worked for a company called abbott um and i remember seeing in his office the fax machine or the printer that would print out um requisitions government jobs government opportunities for contracts for different positions or projects and um Nowadays, I know that there are there are websites uh, where those different um, requisitions are. And so I think it's a problem that she's still soliciting this kind of help over the <clears throat> excuse me, over the dais. And the reason I think that's a problem is because there's already one tree guy slash keys guy who they owe for what well, he thinks they owe four hundred and fifty thousand dollars to because him and Tiffany did a street deal. No contract. She met him out somewhere. They did some type of street conversation bullshit. Nothing on paper. Nothing approved by the board. Reviewed. No RFP. No bid. No nothing. No portfolio. No meeting. No nothing. Not even an invoice for real. So, you know, I think it's very dangerous. And any business who is stepping up for this bullshit, please don't. This is very much like when Umar Johnson was like, I need a plumber. I need a, a handyman. I need a light worker. And then that one dude he brought in, he didn't want to pay. Remember? Told the guy he wasn't going to pay him because he didn't have a driver's license. So the people helped the dude get a driver's license. And they donated money to him, but instead he was using it on cocaine and hookers. Anyway. Well, if you are interested, please, whatever you do, apply here at Village Hall. You can go to V. Oh, I was going to say something else too. Hold on one second. Um... So the swimming pool being closed, she wants, you know, she got to take her moment right now to jab and blame the trustees. Like she can't have a peaceful mayor's report where she isn't being offensive. Like I could only imagine her at a tea party. Oh. You know, I just, I just happen to be raised around different women, different girls. We don't behave this way. Uh, we don't sit up and have conversations and throw uh, subliminals or, you know, coverts or overts at people. Um, don't nobody catch no strays when we're talking. If there's something that needs to be said, it's said in the right space and in the right way. We don't sit up and just do this. This is disgusting. We don't lead groups where we have these kind of conversations in open meetings. This is gross. Whew. But anyway, the swimming pool initially became closed because when Tiffany Henyard had her original face, before she got her Dolly Parton face, when Tiffany Henyard had her original chest, um, she uh, initiated an ordinance that banned adult pool parties at the Maryland, am I saying it right, Maryland Fitness Center? Now, the reason that information I just gave you is important is because that is the very same building she's talking about now that the trustees won't approve um, the payments for work to be done on the pool. Now, here's the thing. It was Tiffany's fault the fucking shit was closed in the first place. I said again, because she initiated a, ba a ban on all adult pool parties. Well, who else going to sprint space there? Except the, the people who live in Dalton, and I'm sure they do that at a discount and not a premium. So where are they going to get money? If you're not having adult pool parties, why not just attract a different clientele instead of who you attracted? But look at Dalton. Okay? 
And my daddy said, ain't nobody going to respect your house no more than you do. Ain't nobody going to bring a different energy to your house than you allow in it. If you put your feet up on the furniture, everybody going to put their feet up on the furniture, honey. People will disrespect your space as much as you disrespect it. And if Dalton looks like I've seen Dalton look, I understand why you were attracting the adult swimming pool clientele that you were. But I'm sure you could do better. And have kept that building open. And then when trustee Tammy Brown, Tammy Brown rather, and trustee Brittany Norwood were working to sell the building, Tiffany Henry blocked it after she became mayor. Within the first few months of her being mayor, she made it almost impossible, obviously impossible. So now they done moved the police in there, but it ain't making no money. That's not money. So that's why you got a situation now. And she has gotten a, a quote on $88,000 for the pool repair. $88,000. They could literally, have you seen what properties cost in Dalton? Fucking Tangenique Miller's house was only $45,000 in Calumet City. Her entire home, her townhouse was only $45,000. Her home. And she's mad. T T Tangenique talks ugly to the trustees about a $45,000 deposit just to fix the pool. With still a $44,000 balance. And you know that's not it. That's not it. It ain't going to be over after that. You still got monthly upkeep of a pool. And then she want to do free lessons. Well, that's just going to keep people poor and ignorant. Because they not paying for shit. You're going to have a bunch of empty classes. You're going to have people that come late. Peak at parents that cuss you out. And don't treat you right. Listen, people get what they pay for. Now, let me let her continue about this damn Just Ice Rink by Super Mayor Tiffany A. Dot Henyard. Or as I affectionately call her. Henshart. To apply, we're looking for a manager. We're about to lay the ice back down like we did last year. We had it. It was an ice rink. So those that don't know how to ice ice skate, you can actually come out and learn. It's just like the opportunity that uh, Venus and Serena had for tennis. So I want to give you guys your opportunity because people will get up and say, we don't want that. Yes, you do. You have to give the black and brown communities the same opportunity that you see in other communities. And that's what we have done and created here in the village of Dalton. Another thing that we have is we're still looking for contractors for the roof and window program. That's another issue that the board of trustees voted down. When I go get the money, when people talk about what they don't know nothing about when they get to that podium about us going to get funds, we go get funds and the funds are in the bank accounts. All the board members have access to every single balance sheet, finance statement, payroll statement, everything here. So when they go and they run, tell the news the opposite, all they have to do is ask me and I will give a comment because we're not running from nothing in here. We not. So you can ask us and we will supply the real truth to you so that when you make your news story, it's not considered fake news. Uh, roof and windows. When we went and allocated money for you residents, you've been blowing my phone up. You've been asking when are we getting our free roof or window and I've told you that the board did not pay the last contractors and that has been the problem. When they sit here and hold up progress, we cannot get it done for you because we have no one to do the work. We have almost over 400 people in county on a waiting list to get that done and um, I know some of you are... Y'all, I don't feel like doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and play her in two speed and see what we pick up, okay? Because, man, um... The, the notes I have to take are stupid. It's all shit that has been said because we're looking at November. She's been telling me. See, the thing is, Tiffany Henyard is not, um, she's not creative by a long shot. That's why she plays the same two or three. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do her a favor, okay? Tiffany, call this the grace of Isis, the grace of Oshun, because we are entering the Easter season and I'm feeling very graceful. I'm feel, feeling very loving. Uh, I'm going to call this the grace of Oshun. I'm going to skip through your mayoral report. <sighs> because I don't feel like looking at it. I don't want to talk about it. I could give a fuck about them goddamn lies. And look how long it is. Shh. 
shit. Fucking idiot. She had to drink some water. Look at look at uh Kirk Franklin's face. Look at Jay-Z wannabe's face. Did y'all get a chance to check out that video in the breakdown playlist um, that I created of Keith Freeman rapping? He uh he did a remix of Jay-Z's Incredible. It's super corny. I hope you enjoy it. His dumb ass. Just just wait. Wait, I think this this must be a veto because if Michael Delgado is reading, that means that's something Tiffany Hinger should be reading, but we know she can't. <laughs> so she it looked like I do want to hear this if it is a veto. Let me see. Oh fuck, that means we gotta listen to her again. We will start back up on all those projects. Uh, I have a couple more videos that I would like to show you. No. Hijack the bank account. They went a couple more videos that I would like to show you guys. Um, I want to say this. I sent a letter out to you guys. Um, it went out last week and it was related to the bank account here in the village of Dalton. And this is Did she say it was related? Bitch, you can't even say related. But your mama and daddy must have been to have given birth to you. You should have been swallowed, okay? Your mama should have got on her knees and swallowed you. Swallowed you, like Diddy Jake say. You should have been swallowed, honey. You're one of those babies that just should have been a facial. She said, laid it. Bitch, you talk bad and i'm not even talking about the fact that i know the dialect because i know the heritage of the city of chicago and i understand the transplants and i get that but you talk bad for you news this is news you can use um the I trustees i think she might be retarded i mean she might have been wanting that mental health money for herself she might have been wanting it, and she might have been needing it. That might have been her escape money. You know how you call your boss, and he'd be like, I'm taking a day off because I need a mental health day, and you go hiking or go get some pussy or go shopping or whatever, go gambling or whatever it is that you do, snort cocaine, whatever you do. I think maybe she was going to take that mental health money and run with it. And, and that was going to be her getaway. Like her, I got to get away. I got to get away. Like, seriously. I think she might have been planning on she, what y'all said. Y'all said she going to take that mental health tax money. She going to take it. Yup. She might have needed to. And she was going to pay for hopefully a couple good years, 36 months. In somebody's institution to get a phlebotomy, a lobotomy. <laughs> oh, Jack, the bank account, they went illegally, unconstitutional, and it's all in the order from the judge. And they basically went and took over the bank account here in the village of Dalton. Uh, we went to court. It got dragged out. Anybody know how court works, how, how judges and lawyers work? It get continued. It get continued. And they did that. For an entire year almost. So I was not on the bank account for a year. So when they talk about deficits, they talk about money. They the ones was on the bank account for an entire year. So after that year has concluded, uh, the judge made all these findings. And I'm going to show you a video to show you my facts so you can use it in your video that you drop. Um, so you understand what it is I fight for. Um, somebody going to jail, just so you clear on that. I am pressing charges on the clerk, on trustee house, trustee Norwood, trustee Belcher, and trustee Tammy Brown. I'm pressing charges on everybody so i want to make that crystal clear for your video when you run this video so make sure you play that back because they did that without asking facts they keep this lawyer on retainer and they got to be something more than that they keep him on retainer won't fire him as the as the lady said before i want a 21 lawsuit i know i got it i hear all of y'all i know she has driven y'all crazy i know whatever these last two or three minutes of her talking was it was so much i didn't miss none of it i was just doing what the feds do i was just letting her talk first of all so i, I i'm gonna send you home with a couple words today tiffany and hopefully i don't have to do this with stan brown but we might have to let's start with this 
uh, the first one we're going to work on, and we're going to do this really quick, and then we'll follow up on it, okay? And I understand these things might take a little while because you don't read, so you don't look at words and then sound them out appropriately. You don't read. So it may be a little bit harder for you to pronounce words sometimes because you you don't read. But I'm going to help you. I'm going to help fill in some gaps. So I want you... You remember that Foxy Brown song, Il Nana? <laughs> yeah, that might bring some good memories back. So when you say Il Nana, that is actually that Il part is how you pronounce the beginning of the word that you've been saying is illegal. It's illegal. I just want to give that to you because I want to allow you the opportunity to relax your mouth a little bit because you're putting a lot of stress on your mouth by saying the word wrong because it's a lot easier than you think so instead of illegal just think about foxy brown illegal 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 like ill nana illegal okay all right i, I want i'm gonna follow up with you on that I, I want you to come back to me with that one a little bit better because i'm tired of hearing it and i have heard seen other people who are tired of hearing it and we shouldn't be thinking about eels. I, I know every single person who's like me, who's bright and, and smart. When you say that word illegal, we get distracted because we start thinking about animals. I know I'm not the only one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the next thing you said that caught my attention was they, the ones, was on the checking account. Tiffany, you cannot talk like that and then go and say, because if you want to see my facts, you can't choose which words to stress the proper pronunciation of and then which ones you can't. That inconsistency reads as incompetence. Now, you talked about the, everybody, somebody going to jail because... You were taken off the bank account. Well, nobody's gone to jail yet. No charges have been pressed. You have not pressed to date any charges against anybody. Now, the court case that you did file about that, you lost two days ago. Because uh, trustee, I'm sorry, clerk key was placed back on the checking account. Excuse me. Excuse me. You still have not been placed on the checking account, Tiffany A. Henyard. You still have not been placed on the checking account. You run all your shit through Keith Freeman, Tangenique Miller, and Janice Johnson. That's who you're running your shit through. And the credit cards for Keith Freeman and Louis Lacey from American Express and Fifth Third. Now, for her to say that the Dalton trustees have all the paperwork, see, what a lot of people don't realize is when you lie and say you did something that we know you didn't do, what you're telling us is that you know it's wrong not to have done that. Okay? So when you when you lie and say that the, the trustees have access to all the shit, but we know they don't just by the fact that they're saying it, because why the fuck would they? Then you're telling all of us, including the feds, that what you're doing is malicious because you are well aware. You're talking about first degree at this point, honey. I'm going to go with one more thing and I'm, I'm going to let you continue to rock a little bit longer because I know you just snorted a little bit while I was talking. So let me make sure I give you room to work that out with the zoomies. You said that they, the trustees don't be axing facts. Bitch, what? See, that's why I don't hang out with people like you. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say about me thinking I'm better. Bitch, yes, we are better. We talk better. We think better. We speak better. We understand better. We communicate better. We live better. We look better. 
We make better decisions with our lives. We sound better when we speak. Bitch, yes, we are better. Take notes. Understand the standard that some of us represent, which is called excellence. This is what excellence is. This bullshit before us right now is some uh, Django shit. Some damn step and fetch it shit. Some damn I'm a super saber shit. Some bamboozled shit. This is some bullshit. She is a fucking, uh, what's the word, y'all? From bamboozle, the, 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 the word we use, buffoon. Uh, that ain't the word. Y'all help me in the chat. What's the word I'm looking for? I haven't used it in a very long time. It ain't coon. I'm trying to stay away from that word. Because I understand the etymology of the word. So I'm not going to misuse it. Because I'm not that unintelligent. Even though it would be cool too. It's not the intelligent thing to do. But what is this word we think about that she is that starts with a B? When, when you have somebody who's on TV. And they, they are usually a black person who's just making a, a buffoon of themselves. What is that B word that we call them? It's not buffoon. It is... Y'all will help me. Y'all will get me together. But that's what we see here. We see a caricature of black women. Like Nicki Minaj. Like Cardi B, even though she ain't even black. Like, uh, like Jocelyn Hernandez, even though she ain't even black. Like half the bitches that are put before you, Vivica Fox and them. Those are caricatures of black women. Those are not real black women. That's why they got an issue with Fanny. Bonnie, my apologies. And I'm not speaking from, from knowledge about the case or none of that. Because I purposely can only focus on one thing at a time. Okay? My energy ain't going to be here, there, and everywhere. I posted a couple videos at the beginning of that, uh, that um, Bonnie Lewis situation. Where she got them together real good. But that's why they have an issue with her. Because they've had a Nicki Minaj kiss they ass. They've had a Cardi B laugh at they inappropriate jokes. They've had this white, this bitch right here, Tiffany Henyard, you know, look at them gazingly as though they, they, their gift is them being in the room. But Bonnie Lewis is like, no, I went to school with you. I know who you are. I competed with you. Have will. Dignified. Will be. That's just what I gather. And that's why there's an issue with her. Shout outs to her from what I can understand. Shit. If, if there's more I should know, let me. But from what I've seen and what's come across my desk, I see a woman that I can relate to who I've had to stand up to some, some systems before too and say, what we ain't going to do is play me. What Beyonce say, only the radio can play me. What we are not about to do is sit here and make me a bow to you will not want. Not after I won all these cases for you and my brain has done all this good work. What we are going to do is keep my good thinking crown on and embarrass the fuck out of you, frustrate you and everything. Make you pull out all your books. Anyway, let's continue. County. So if you 21 or old, shouldn't you throw on a white towel? You should quit. Really, you should quit. You should even still be taking the residents money, but they do. But then they run a y'all say She said if you're 21 and old, shouldn't you quit? No. If you're zero and 21, you should quit. Fuck, you can't get that part right. Damn, you're an imbecile. Oh, this look fictitious story about about Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. But let me finish this because we damn it, shit fucking Y'all, let me write it down. Let me write it down. Well, let me just write it down and I'll come back to it. Because, ooh, Jesus. It is, ooh, I'm telling you. Shout outs to my daddy. Y'all, I know I say a lot about the man. The man was a human being in my life. He was a force in my motherfucking life. Everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm going to tell you, it's a reason. My daddy, I love you, my Chicago family. But y'all, I'm going to tell you, my daddy would not always let us hang around too much. It was important to my parents to not normalize certain things about black people. Like these mispronunciations of words. So even in our family, the social time was limited. So some things didn't rub off on us going back to Grand Rapids. <laughs> you understand? And those are the ones that I had to deal with. The first ones that called me white were my cousins. 
Because I had the charm school lessons that postured me in a correct way, had me speak in a correct way. I had to wear certain clothes and shoes and practice certain behaviors so that I wouldn't go out in the world looking crazy. And my first haters were my cousins in Chicago who said I acted like I was white. And the ones in Muskegon, Michigan too. I love you too. But those were the first ones that I had to battle with this whole class thing. Who felt like being a certain ghetto and a certain hood and a certain tacky was being black. And because my parents had decided they weren't going to pass that on to their bloodline. They weren't raising me thinking I was going to go from the pasture to the king's house. It don't work that way. It don't. So I have been diametrically opposed to this woman all my life in the way that she presents herself and thinks it's okay. But I'm glad that there is a city now who is seeing different layers and different ways of being black. Because being black is not this. This is a nigga. And don't tell me not to use the word nigga on my motherfucking channel. This is my shit. And I keep us commercial free on purpose. You welcome. Listen, this right here is a nigga. Now, there have been people before her who were black who stole from black people. Yes, they were. Riley is one of them. But Riley was not a nigga. And if he was, we never saw it. What did Nene Leak say? But it wasn't ever on camera, though. He at least knew how to carry himself as a thief. This bitch right here makes it too easy. Because all she, you know, that there you got your white collars and your blue collars. She used to breaking in cars, roguish shit. Putting uh, spark plugs between her fingers and busting windows open. Dumb shit like that. She used to use her chest muscles to steal. Not her brain muscles. I appreciated being able to tell her OG when I came back from China. Something, sometimes you think you walking up on a hoe when you really getting to learn what a pimp really is. Let me show you. Let me let her continue. Oh, Jesus. Because we right here. Because we reached out to y'all, but y'all didn't respond. We reached out. Okay, wait. Okay, one minute. One minute. One minute. Let me finish. Let me finish my report, and then I got you. So I just want, I just want you guys Sir, to know where we are. Just, just Why wait. Is she yelling? She's yelling. Yeah, just wait. I'm gonna let you talk. Trust me, I got you. She's so she's, I just want to point she's, out. She's yelling so much that she's wearing her body out. This is just a meeting. I'm sitting here reviewing the meeting, and I'm not yelling like she is. And there are things to be upset about, but she's yelling so much that she needs to take a water break and fix her wig. Look at Keith. She yelling so much that she got to get herself together. She's the bad tension in the room. She's the elephant in the room. Y'all seen a meeting without her? Y'all, the things that goes on here in the village, but it's just one side of stories. You don't get both sides. So I am here to tell you both sides. And that's why I do my mayor's address, my mayor report, so people can hear me my side because they hear all the fluff they hear all the people that whether they got a problem with me or not that's the only side that you guys play so uh play the video play the video all right so this is gonna explain keith is texting his wife like i'm gonna be home late this bitch done gone on another rant rampage uh please just keep dinner warm for me or i might actually had to stop by the white bitch's house on the way home and get some of that dry ass chicken. I don't know. But I'll be there because she been talking for now 30 minutes. 30 minutes. When I started this video, what did I do with that paper? When I started this video just now, the timestamp was negative. 32844. It is 10344, which means she has been talking for almost 30 minutes. 25 minutes. 
her report was. 25 fucking minutes. And, Ke and Keith Freeman is like, this shit is so crazy. I don't think it's ever going to end. I'm just here for the money, though. I'm, I'm just here to make enough money to go to the stew so I can make another Jay-Z cover. To you that back in October 2022, when the board of trustees uh, basically went to take over the bank account, play the video, too. I don't know if I should watch this. I wish I could ask you guys live. Let me see if I can channel your future energy like them tarot card readers be doing. Hold on, Hold on. let me play a little game. I'm gonna throw some cards and see if I should watch this or if I should fast forward to it. Hold on. I am asking the collective energy of the breakdown crew. Should I watch the rest of this marriage report or should I fast forward completely through it? Oh, nope. We ain't got to watch it. No, no. So let's fast forward through it. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. It did not work. See what I'm saying? When they tried to. And then when so he yeah. He, the bitch is watching a video of her. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm not doing that with her. Is this the same video? God damn, she's so confusing. I'm not doing this shit with her. I'm not. I'm too intelligent. Y'all, I don't sit up and have dumb conversations with people whether they telling the truth or not. I don't care how many documents you got in your phone to show me all the land you own in Africa. <laughs> uh, we, Ooh, look at her and Stacey. Uh, uh, we had our reservoir. Uh, well, all my Listen, uh, Stacey give me, uh, I mean, I mean, yeah. give me Tevin Campbell vibes. <laughs> it's not that. It's that. <laughs> Let me leave him alone. He about to be locked up. Let me be nice. Now, now uh, they cleared away the debris. They cleared the water out of it. Okay. So watch video for that as okay. well. We did that as we were paving the Let street. We did a um, sewer cap. Let me channel y'all's energy one more time, if it's okay. Uh, can I just skip past? Hold on. I didn't ask the question yet. Uh, can I skip past the whole damn report? Because, I mean, it's the same lies she been telling, you know, and, and it don't really make a difference at this point because the feds have already watched all these videos. <sighs> they said go ahead and watch the report. Okay. Six right off 155th in Dobson. Was it 155th and Dobson? We were. I did make a video while they was doing it so you could see how that process looks because I don't want um, another issue like a bad rainfall to come and then the residents are flooded. So let me give y'all this real quick. I wish I could play this while she was talking and just turn the volume down. There was one thing that she said that I really wanted to take a moment to talk about because I think it's really, really important. Fake Titius is not a word. Now, I know us 80s kids used to throw two words together and then call it something. You know, like we had a thing like that, us 80s babies. We would take fake words, like two different words together. And I can't think of nothing like that now because I'm 43. I haven't been uh, 10 in a long time. But we used to take words and just put them together and then call it something. But fictitious, like frenemy, for example, like the word frenemy. You know, friend and enemy. We It's a common word now that we use, right? But fake tissues should not be a word that is spoken over a mayoral dais. I rebuke it in the name of me. I'm going to let her continue. So I'm just letting you know that that was always in our plan to fix infrastructure, which we're doing currently. You'll see a lot of pipe replacements, a lot of sewers getting replaced, and you'll still see a lot of streets getting resurfaces. So as we resurface the street, we fix the sewer along the way. So I just want you to understand the process of things here. But again, give us time because it ain't going to happen overnight. I just want to remind you of that. Uh, next, can you play the Halloween one for them? Uh, Halloween was really epic for those that missed it. Halloween was um, located at the 14900 Greenwood location. And of course, I went as popcorn, because y'all say, I pop -ups, we pop -ups. I pop -ups. So it was actually really, really tons of candy. Michael Jackson, I am like this. You know, they love that. grateful to have my own wheel as a guide, because this is stupid. I've seen these videos, and I'm sure you have too. Y'all be knowing. Y'all be knowing. Uh. 
everything, um, the things that we have created. Uh, we will soon be having a town hall meeting so that we can discuss our next steps as it relates to our 2024 movement. I want to share with you the wonderful things. I want to share with you the $6.8 million that was um, um, put in a budget for us. So once the money starts trickling in, which now we've been signing paperwork to get funds to come in, um, I pray this board don't turn it down like they did a $600,000 grant that we got. They even vote for a $600,000 grant. So I'd like to point things out to you that they ain't doing, but it's money that I go get for you. And when I bring it back here, we need a resolution that they have to vote on to get the money in the bank account and then dish it out to the public. And that's not what we do, or we build things with it because we got a water park coming. We also have um, we saw the basketball course. We redid those. We have a Just Ice Academy, and that's for tap dance, things like that. Um, I'm working on something now where it's at the township, at the youth and family, so penmanship. So a lot of people cannot write cursive. So I'm trying to teach the youth how to do penmanship because right now I ask them to sign their names. They just know how to print their names because everybody using AI. And I get this bitch can't even read. And have you seen how she writes her signature? But she got the nerve to talk about she wants the trustees to uh, help get money so that P kids can learn how to write cursive. Bitch, you, you. AI is really taking over. I just want to show you the things that I'm up on and I'm trying to make sure that you equip with. Also, we have Tech Savvy. If any senior, and this for my seniors, and I know some parents don't know how to use it either, but if you need help with your phone and you need to put an app on there, um, Facebook, and I know y'all like singles.com, I ain't put that on there, but anything that you want me to add on your phone, if you come to the township, we have Tech Savvy every fourth Thursday of the month and it is free. All the services that I just said for you are free, 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 free. You just have to spread the word. If you don't need it, call a friend, tell a neighbor, let them know so they can benefit from it. But I just want to say that um, I will forever be your mayor, I will forever be your supervisor, and I'm calling coin as the super mayor because I always. Um, she says she ran in to the meeting from Springfield. And she had that Bubba Gump, Bubba Gump shrimp hat on. Have y'all ladies ever known a guy who found a way to keep women's panties after he was with them as a trophy? Or women who like kept men's uh, boxers or pants or I prefer cash. But you know, uh, you know, who kept men's belongings because they wanted to show off what they had conquered. She can't keep her mouth shut. That's the problem. She's sitting here with a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company hat on. And the closest Bubba Gump Shrimp Company to her currently is in Las Vegas. But she didn't come back from Las Vegas with nothing in her mayor's report about Las Vegas. And she's been back now for since June. That trip was on or about May 26, 2023, because that's the day on or about when Andrew Holmes allegedly drugged and raped her uh, Tiffany Henyard's assistant, who I will keep nameless. But Andrew Holmes, that's your name, ain't it, <laughs> nigga? You know who you are. But she never showed anything in any of her mayoral reports about Las Vegas. She never came back from Selma and put anything in her mayoral reports about Selma to the Thornton Township. And they paid for it. Or the Springfield trip. She doesn't include these things in her report because they're for her put up and show out for you. I always go get the money, bring it back. And in the history ever of any supervisor, of any mayor, I bought the most money back for a city slash village or for a township. I was awarded um, that type of money. So 9.2 for the township, 6.8 for the village of Dawson. If you go and look at the numbers for anyone else, they have nowhere near what we are going to receive for our city and our township. So I'm going to point that out before you place judgment. Always, always know the facts because half of the time I think you didn't uh, beat up on somebody and you learn the facts. You're like, I didn't know. It's your job to educate yourself, to read, go through the motions and find out who's telling you the truth and who just sending you off. So um, that concludes my mayor's report. I want to just make sure that everybody goes to VO. Oh, shit. I was about to make myself something to eat whole time. God damn. Hold on. She about to move on. Hold on. Hey, baby. Oh. Oh. All right. Let me let me put it back in normal speed. I think we probably going to go into the village department report. .org for any jobs, if you're interested. And sign up for that turkey and ham giveaway that is coming up. And then the veterans. I see some of my veterans here. On this Friday, I am doing a, a lunch for you guys. It will be at Blueberry right there in South Holland. It is free. It starts at 11 o'clock. All you have to do is show up. I'll give you a full course meal from salad to soup to whatever you want for dinner. And then also we give you um, dessert. So please show up, uh, veterans, if you uh, want to come and talk to me about anything i will be there all day as well thank you so much for listening next we have a village clerk's report again good evening everyone um board of trustees i'm requesting your approval on the minutes for the regular board meeting on september the 5th 2023 i'm motion Second. Okay, Trustee Norwood. I'm taking the minutes. Okay, just just move forward. 
All right, just so we clear, the mayor runs the board meetings. And that's the problem we have here. Everybody want to be the boss. It's only one boss. I, I was literally saying, okay, so she let Clerk Key say what she had to say without playing with her, without messing with her. And here we see she messing with her. Oh, my God. <sighs> I got to rewind this so we can see what's going on. Hold on. Let me rewind this because, man, it, it's not making sense to me. I don't understand what just happened. Let's see. Man, she be on some bullshit. Can she leave Clark Key alone before she tap into her inner power and put a spell on her? And that's what I said. All right, let's see if I can tell me about anything. I will be there all day as well. Thank you so much for listening. Next, we have a village clerk's report. Again, good evening, everyone. Um, board of Trustees, I'm requesting your approval on the minutes for the regular board meeting on September the 5th, 2023. I'll motion. Second. Okay, Trustee Norwood. I'm taking the minutes. Okay, just, just move forward. Okay, so here's what happened. So because Tiffany and Keith keep removing the minutes from the agenda, the minutes approval from the agenda, Clerk, he just started by asking for somebody to make a motion. I make I, I need somebody to make a motion for approval of the minute. She won't put it on the agenda. She's trying to keep stuff out of legal record. OK, she's trying to control the narrative. And at the same time, she wants Clerk Key to hand over all the all of her files which is not legal. So clerk, he was like, fuck it. I'm just going to ask for a motion. So trustee house made the motion to approve the minutes for one for September. This is November. And she's asking for approval of minutes from September. Because if we remember when we looked at the October meeting, the hell she gave heiress, the deputy trustee, about getting September minutes approved. What is it about those September minutes you don't like? That was the month you had to talk about the deficit for the first time. That's why you don't want to have those minutes from September 5th approved. Because that was the day you had to talk about the deficit. You was calling it an over, uh, uh, overdue bill, a backlog of expenditures. And then finally in October, you call it a deficit. So, so trustee uh, for, or clerk key rather was like, fuck it. I'm just going to see if somebody will get it taken care of. Now she cutting in to the vote. Mayor Henyard, Tiffany Henyard is cutting in to the vote. I believe I heard a man's voice speaking first. Was that Keith Freeman? Wait a minute. Let me Tell me about anything. I will be there all day as well. Thank you so much for listening. Next we have a uh, village clerk's report. Again, good evening. There. So it looks like they may have been they may have been discussing right then that 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 item was removed from the agenda. Everyone, um, board of trustees, I'm requesting your approval on the minutes for the regular board meeting on September the fifth, twenty twenty three. My motion. Second. Okay, Trustee Norwood. I'm taking the minutes. So I think that was Keith that said, what are you doing? Hold on. I wish I could turn captions on, but it's not giving me the option. So let me see. Let's just break this down a little bit. 5th, 2023. My motion. Second. Okay, Trustee Norwood. I'm taking the minutes. I think he said, wait a minute, clerk, what are you doing? But I don't think that he gave her that much respect. So let me let me listen again. If y'all know what she's saying, put it in the chat for me. My motion. Second. Okay, Trustee Norwood. I'm taking the minutes. 
Okay, just just move forward. He said something like, wait a minute, clerk. But it, it sounded like he said something different. Let me just try one more time. 5th, 2023. I'm motion. Second. Okay, trustee Norwood. I'm taking the minutes. Okay. He said something, something, clerk. What are you doing? Now, he doesn't have a right to speak during a vote. If I understand correctly, Keith Freeman does not have a right to speak during a vote. He is overstepping his bounds as an employee of the village of Dalton. I want to set that straight. Okay, just, just move forward. All right, just so we clear, the mayor runs the board meetings. And that's the problem we have here. Everybody want to be the boss. It's only one boss. I got elected to run the village. Okay, let's be clear. Keep telling y'all, put some respect on my name. When we done, I'm going to address you to call the roll. Let me confer with counsel. And when he give me what he's telling me, then I will come back. Give me one second, please. Thank you. But if that is her counsel who confers with her, why is the village of Dalton asked to pay for him? All right, and then also he just stated that um, I skipped closed session. So that's why I said, give me one second. All right, um, is there a motion to approve the minutes for September 5th, 2023 for the regular board meeting? Is there a motion? A motion. Is there a second? Second. It's been motion and second. Uh, please call the roll. Or any discussion? Please call the roll. Discussion on that, man. Oh, go ahead. I don't know. Did we get that cleared up on uh, that particular meeting when uh, I see where it says? I have a feeling Stan Brown is being messy because he's a bitch. You had spoke on something and uh, the, the clerk didn't get uh, what you said. Uh, didn't put that out in the minutes. And we were supposed to be in a minute this here uh, meeting. No. Those minutes. No. Y'all, I know a demon when I see one that little ugly motherfucker. She did. She did not. Y'all left the minutes the way it is. Um, I know I've asked for my statements to be included in the minutes, and no one has fixed that. And I think that everybody else statements, things y'all say here goes in the minutes. And I think that uh, I am the mayor. My statements should go in the minutes as well. So um, I've asked, uh, but yeah, nothing. statements are in the minutes. No, I, mean, no. See I did. I did. It says Mayor Henry in this whole paragraph. No, you're missing something, which I had told you that. But it, it's okay, because I know that. Report. I uh, like a two hour uh, mayor's report. Okay. Okay. So have it your way. Whatever you guys is going to vote on, whatever you're going to pass is fine by me. So I'm just saying, but I'm not okay Thank with uh, minutes being amended to your liking, but not my liking. So, um, okay. Call around. You know Aye. Trustee Stan Brown. No. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Holmes. No. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed, minutes passed. Thank you very much for the trustees. Um, in communication. Uh, I love her. She said, thank you very much, Board of Trustees. Mayor Henry, you could kiss my ass. Do you hear me, ho? You could kiss it. Without residents, Friday is Veterans Day. The office is closed. So just so you know, the off Village Hall will be closed on Friday, November the 10th. Um, just an observation of that instead. And um, i like to um, make a correction with the mayor's fake news report. Um, I have been on the bank account since I was sworn in as the clerk of the village of Dalton. I don't have to run to the bank to do anything. I was sworn in when she was sworn in. We both were on the bank account and I remain on the bank account. So that little fake news report you just saw, totally incorrect. Thank you.
Okay. Um, I was going to entertain that, but I'll entertain it later and post it. Um, all right. So, is there a motion to go in closed session? God damn. See, that's why older women don't like younger women. Because younger women can be so motherfucking disrespectful. You hear me? Some of these ignorant ass young bitches ain't never been nowhere, ain't never had nothing, ain't never achieved nothing on their own, but they quick to disrespect the elder, and I don't understand that. Um, to talk about pending litigations, is there a motion? A motion. Is there a second? Second. It's been a motion and second. Please call for a discussion. You, you, didn't, you didn't ask for discussion, did you? There's no discussion. It's closed session. It's pending litigation. We are going downstairs. Okay, before I vote though. No, we have discussion before I vote. Not not for pending litigation. Pending litigation is why you go in closed session. You cannot discuss it in the open. No, we're not discussing it in the open. I want to move the executive session for the sake of the resident style. I like to move the executive session to the to number six sixteen. To I'm number sixteen. So I like to proceed with the meeting and then Okay. You close session at the end so that the rest okay. to go home. Well, it's a pending um, motion, so we have to call the bar. Okay. Yeah, go, go ahead, uh, attorney. Trustee, we have pending litigation with court deadlines. Um, we ask that the board consider and give us direction on matters listed on the agenda. Mm -hmm. oh, so we, is, we couldn't do it afterwards, is what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was it. So we had people waiting like we do any any other time. We normally will put it up to the top um, just to get the attorneys out. Um, you all know this is nothing new. So. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I think she said she normally puts it at the top just to get the attorneys out. But didn't she put her mayoral report at the very end of a meeting uh, two months ago and make the attorney sit through it? Request was put yeah. it down. Put it at the end. Yes. Yes. Put it. Right, but what I'm saying is we have deadlines that we, we have to comply with before November 16th. That's fine. So she, she said never to tonight. We still will be able to tonight. She said never think she would put it at the end. Yes. She would put it at the end. Come on, you scared me now. I'm like, hold on. Okay. Thank you. So okay. she she's trying to move the order of the executive. Right, she's trying to move it to the, the end. Right, and we saying that, which we always do, you, you guys know that people ask us, can they um, move something up, which it is first, so that they can get out of here. So you already know the attorneys, you see them sitting in the audience. <laughs> so can we go downstairs? Mm -hmm. Where's the motion? Can you call the row, uh, clerk? So, so right now, based on what I asked, I'm going to move the attorney. Tiffany is trying to control the attorney's time. Now, if the attorney, she wants... Uh, she wants the attorney to hurry up and get it done so he can leave. She doesn't want the attorney to have a reason to stay through the rest, rest of the meeting. And by the attorney, I mean Bert, o Bert Odelson, which is the legislative counsel for the Board of Trustees. Second. Trustee Norwood. No. Are we voting to move to no, we're voting to go to executive session at this moment. That's what the vote. She said it was a pending vote. Oh, so she said the question is, moment. do we act to mm -hmm. ask that we move it? To so my vote's no. Okay, got you. Stan Brown? Yes. Tammy Brown? No. Trustee House? No. Andrew oh. Holmes? Yes. Tammy Brown? Belcher. No. no. All right. She failed. Okay, so um, we will sit here. We will um, talk to the residents. So um, thank you, because I, I wasn't done either. Um, but um, I apologize to the attorneys and your time. Unfortunately, I sit through our long meeting. Uh, we will be a minute. So if you want to, you can go outside, come back in. We will call you. Uh, we will we'll take care of the business. So, And it's a shame that they did this, because normally we do it all the time. But the news is here, so we got a grandstand for the news. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it do. It do cost us more money. You're right. So I'm glad you said that for the record. See? I, thank you. All right. Here we go. Next on the agenda. So we will be a minute, guys, is Village Administrator's Report. So we got to get through all the reports, corporate bills, then all the agenda items. So that'd be a couple hours. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Mayor, may yeah. I be recognized just yeah, for another minute? Mm -hmm. If you have a vehicle parked out in the parking lot, license plate EB18092, EB18092, a black SUV, your lights are on. 
Okay. Hey, Mayor, right. if I could be recognized as well. Okay. Um, can we, we don't go to his report. Well, I just, I have a statement I would like to make. Out. Okay. Can you make it after his report? So since I, we follow I, the order. No, I'd rather make it right now. Well, we gonna, we're going to, we're, we're, gonna, we're, I, we're I, I, we'll leave this motion to suspend the rule. Okay. Like well, no, no, you cannot be recognized because everybody want to go out of order. Okay. Right now. So now we suspend the regular order of the agenda so that we can make a comment. You have not been recognized, Mayor, trustee. You have not been recognized. So why we do this game all the so time, every board meeting when y'all don't have your way. Last exactly. time y'all said y'all want to speak, I moved it up. Okay. And then Attorney, after that, hold on, trustee, on trustee, you out of order. It is his time to speak. Just like how you told me last um, time y'all wanted to speak, we did that. So right now we're following, we're second, following the agenda, trustee. And I have a comment. Trustee. It was she said, just like you told me last time y'all wanted to speak, we did that. No, they had to get the attorney to tell her to let them speak. They were going to suspend the entire meeting because she wouldn't allow them to speak after she railed them for fucking two hours. And accused them of all type of shit that they didn't do and didn't have nothing to do with. She didn't want to give them an opportunity to respond, and that's what she's trying to do now. Fucking coward. About somebody with some lights on the car. You we're not going to... You could have spoken general announcements, and you did. Be here. Now, you no, we're wait. not. No. You gave an hour and no. a half report. And I had it on the agenda. Worried about people and I had it on the agenda. So we're no. moving on. We're going to village administrator's report. And the second attorney you, no, I'm, on this, no. No, you cannot. Move on. Go ahead, um, village administrator. It is your time. If, if it is your time. It is your time. You out of order. You out of order. It is your time to speak, village administrator. You so have the floor. Trustee, the you do not have Thank the you, floor, Ma trustee. Thank you, Mayor. Go ahead, village. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't walk out of this meeting, but it's a four hour meeting, so that's not likely. Administrator. We we have the we discussed a you out of order. We discussed you out of order. Tax I'm asking the attorney to call order. If the attorney will not, apparently we're following the we agenda, trustee, as this. we always the do. Says, the agenda the says the it is their time. The Village administrator report. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you. Quote. All right. So are we go, have go ahead, attorney. Go ahead, attorney. I know we do. Tiffany Henyard, sweetie, honey, what's happening right now does not happen. Not in governments. Not in churches, not in schools, not in businesses, not functional ones. The breakdown that is happening before our eyes only happens in dysfunctional organizations. And an organization is dysfunctional from the top down. I've always been taught as a corporate leader, if somebody leaves the company, they're not leaving the company. They're leaving that company's leadership. These kinds of breakdowns in meetings don't happen. And you wonder why the news always report something bad, but you give it to them. You couldn't just say, okay, I'm going to think ahead of this argument. See, if you fuck with the devil like I fuck with the devil, you would have some common sense uh, conflict resolution skills. Because when's the last time you heard of the devil getting in a fight? I'll wait. I know you've been told about this story about Jesus overcoming the devil in the future, but tell me one account of the devil getting in the fight, him and of himself, not a demon, not a spirit, not a familiar spirit, not an entity, not an idea, not a system. I'm talking about the devil, Olosi, Diablo, Satan. When is the last time you heard of him being foot on the ground against the enemy fighting? You ain't because he don't because he don't have to. The devil is the ultimate conflict resolutionist. That's why I fucks with him. And it would have made so much more sense. The devil would have told me, you know what? Your ego is weak right now. Let me tell you how to demonstrate the strength of ego while you practice. Just let him talk. You will embarrass yourself arguing with this man. What if he set you up knowing that you were going to violate Robert Rule's order? What if he asked to speak just so he could set you up? See, my mother gave me an interpretation of scripture that I'm not quite sure if it's true, but I'm going to use it here because I've heard this scripture used here a lot by Andrew Holmes. Drewy. <laughs> Dewey. <laughs> 
Andrew Holmes says all the time, and I heard Stan Brown say too, you can tell they talk on the phone late nights. While, they, while their wives are masturbating because they couldn't finish them off themselves. You hear them say, we need to turn the other cheek. Well, my mother, I'm going to tell you the, 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 the way that my mother taught that scripture. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying this is what she taught. My mother said that based on her um, biblical education, and she was in seminary as well. My mother was actually, when she died, she was working on a Ph.D., uh, from a seminary. Um, and she had actually gone to seminary back, back, back in the day in the eighties. So she had a, you know, a seminary education and she was also an ordained preacher, an ordained, um, pastor. She was my father's co-pastor when he would allow her to be. <laughs> and she taught me that when Jesus said, turn the other cheek, he was operating in strategy. Remember, Satan and Jesus are brothers. They're two sides of the same coin. They have the same exact father, which means they have the same exact wisdom. Okay? Because the Bible says there are no gifts that are unto repentance, which means when Satan and God became enemies, according to the stories, he kept his gifts. He kept his wisdom. He kept his conflict resolution skills. He kept his peacekeeping skills. Okay. Now, when, when Jesus said, turn the other cheek from what my mother taught, you remember, according to the Bible, the Jews were subject to the Romans at the time. But the Romans even had limitations to how they were able to treat the Jews, kind of like in black America or in America. There are only so far they can go with us. There are laws on the books about, you know, that do protect us. Well, one of them was a Roman soldier was not allowed to strike you more than once before he brought you to court. If a Roman soldier felt the need to strike you twice, he should have brought you to court. First time, okay. Second time, why didn't you, if you felt the need that this person was so defiant or so whatever, why didn't you bring in a supervisor guard or why didn't you take them to the court to be dealt with accordingly? Because they couldn't just have Roman soldiers out here smacking people all willy nilly. Well, my mama said that Jesus said, turn the other cheek when they smack you. Why? Because when you turn the other cheek, their rage will make them smack you again. Thereby, they have broken the law and you can take them to the courts. See, it, it was illegal for a Roman soldier to take the coat of a person because there were certain things that were just respected. And in Hebrew culture, the coats, the layers of coats are important. You've heard about Joseph's magic coat or whatever the fuck. Well, the, the men of that time, just like the Uyghurs in China, had certain ways that they wore their clothes to honor their gods. And the Roman soldiers would mock them. But it was illegal for the Roman soldiers to disgrace them religiously. The Roman soldiers can take one piece of clothing. But to take that second layer is dirty. Because that is their covering. That is their ephod. That is the piece of cloth that connects them to their God. And there was certain protections that Pontius Pilate had placed over the Jews, according to the Bible. Okay. I don't even know if any of these people ever existed. <laughs> None of them exist outside of the Bible. I'm going to talk about it like it's true to make it make sense. So Jesus would tell them, if they take your coat, offer them the second one. And if they're dumb enough to take it, take them to court. Turn the other cheek when they hit you so they can hit you again. That's a scripture that has been misused over and fucking over and fucking over again. But let me ask you this. What if Jason House used that scripture accordingly? And he's only asking you to give him time to speak so that he can catch you up in your fault. Because you just broke the law. You just violated Robert's Rules of Order, which isn't breaking the law. It's not. It's unethical. It's a violation. But you just demonstrated your incompetence and your unwillingness to follow the rules. And what if he's setting you up, Tiffany Henyard? But he, what if he ain't even got nothing? What if he don't even want nothing? He's just seeing if you'll let him speak. Stupid. It's for the news, but go ahead. Go ahead. Grandstand. I am not the parliamentarian. I'm the attorney. I'm actually special counsel. I'm not even the village's attorney. No, I understood. Not. 
with I don't understand the problem. We're making a statement. Motion to suspend the rules. The motion to suspend the rules is just to take agenda items out of order. Are you looking to take one agenda item instead of my the motion? Report, my there... motion is to suspend the regular order of the agenda so that myself or any other board member can make a comment. Well, I don't know why the mayor's afraid of comments when she's been here for an hour making comments. To make a comment. Yes, sir. To suspend the rules to move to some other matter on the agenda. Thank you. Okay, I have a motion to suspend the rules to revisit general announcements. Okay. Set motion. Okay, so now y'all got something That's to say. Proper huh? motion in a second. Now you got something to say. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Is that it? Trustee you know what? All right. Okay. All right, um, you can call the row again. Here we go. Wait till, wait till I say call the row, clerk. Then you can call the row. Y'all always go out of order. There's no order here at all. Like, don't worry about it. we want to be here now because I see they want the smoke. But let's go. Just first of all, won't the smoke is not anything a mayor should be saying over a mayoral dais. We got to raise our standards for how we allow people to talk and address us. OK, because want the smoke is a very street term. And where I'm from, want the smoke mean you ain't just about to get your ass whooped. You about to be buried, bitch. They going to have to make fundraisers for your ass. You going to be on a goddamn T-shirt with clouds behind your head. That's where me where I come from. When you say won't the smoke, you ain't talking about no argument, no debate. You talking about some goddamn uh, consequences. You got to be careful how you talk, Tiffany. You do a lot of tough talk from that dais, but would you please show up to a meeting nowadays? We didn't already seen you without your makeup when you came from uh, answering questions about Andrew Holmes and strategizing how to keep your name out of it. We didn't already see you last Friday. We know you look bad, honey. I thought you had got some surgery. Nope. Shout out to Brandon, honey. He is doing that makeup, bitch. Because <laughs> you are. Oh, I'm not going to do you like that. Listen. D. Stan Brown. It is. That's all. They didn't want to go and handle the business with the attorney. The attorney's still on the clock. That's outside. And they just said that. And they want the attorney to sit here for two more hours, but they want the flow to, to grandstand. Okay, go ahead, Clerky. Let's go. Trustee Stan Brown. No. Trustee Tammy Brown. Yes. Trustee Jason House. <laughs> yes. Trustee Andrew Holmes. No. Trustee Belcher. Yes. Motion passed to suspend the rules. <laughs> yep. I want to be the boss. Go ahead. No, what you clap for? You want to be here for four hours? But well, go ahead. No, it was. Just, it was. Like and how long were they there for? Four hours. And watch. The time now is at one thirty-three forty-nine. Okay, because I have a broadcast degree. That's how I read time. I read it down to the second. It's helped me a lot in my business career as a call center manager. Listen, it has helped me to understand down to the second how to save my my company money by by coaching people down to the second. Why are you spending so much time on the phone? <laughs> I'm so glad I got that broadcast degree. It's not even funny. So she's starting. They're starting this discussion, reopening general announcements at 1.33.49. They were there for four hours. Now, she spoke for what now has been about an hour, okay? She's taken up about an hour's time. I really want to see how long but they actually Very take. simple as well. <laughs> I don't... But... Um, these are the things that we have to go through as a board just to make a comment. And I know I understand the residents frustration. So I want to make sure that the residents understand uh, when you're come, making your comments and you're coming up here. The we so get the, dicta the, the dictatorship that's being imposed here. The mayor wants to continue to try to pretend that the community is being served and residents. being. We had about 15 residents that came up here. I didn't know any of them. And all of them said, do not let this be the worst administration that you've ever seen. Then you turn around and get an hour and a half of a dialogue, which we're going to hear another one after this, because the mayor didn't get it right. right. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we don't come here. I want to thank all the residents that do that. I get the phone calls and the prayers from that say, how do you stay calm? And I guess I got to make noise in order to get heard up in this house because it's outrageous. 
my response to all the clap back, all the videos and everything else she does is I'm just going to say this right now, Mayor, and I really hope you just learn to grow up. Right. Please. The community deserves to be represented better than that with these videos, all of this uh, TikTok dance and everything else. Everything that I've said, I have a document that's backed it up. But, I haven't. But, but Jason, Jason, you was knocking on doors selling her vision. And you got to come to terms with that. You got to be the one to say, I was wrong. I repent to the people who are the Lord. They're the ones that voted things in. They're the ones that make the decisions. They're the ones from whom you live, breathe, and have being. They deserve an apology. They deserve a collective repentance so they can have a sigh of relief. Because how can they trust you to be the mayor if you don't repent for having such poor judgment? She ain't doing nothing she didn't do. Every single thing she's doing, she did before. And now it's up to you to be honest about your part in it. I'm out of nowhere with it. We are still sitting in a deficit. We have no finance reports that have been given in the last seven months. We have not completed an audit since this administration came in. And then they want to talk about they know where the money is. Every time we sit here and we say and, I, and we come to pull bills off the list, it's because we don't have the money. One minute they come in and say, I got grants, I got funding. The minute I say, please pay the people in public works the money that they're overdue and they're owed. Oh, we ain't got money like that. This is not smoking mirrors. Get if you got if you got the money, pay the people. I said pay it in one check. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. So um, we're gonna see another cloud of smoke and some other digital deflection and everything else. But I'm gonna say this again. Please grow up, represent this village with dignity. This meeting would not be this long if you learned just to summarize your points and move on. But we're not going to get that. So we'll be here for four hours. But if you'll notice, if we clock this time, we're going to be here for four hours, three hours, 37 minutes, and 26 seconds is going to be the mayor feeling thriving. Then she wants to say, my work speaks for itself. Then and then show you a video of everything that she claims speaks for itself. Come on, Jason. And in my house. comments. Okay, so let me clear it up so that I'm going to have the finance... But the floor was open for general announcements, which means everybody has an opportunity to speak. She's about to demonstrate. See, what I learned, one thing, and shout outs to um, Jane at Apple. She taught me something very, very important. I am so thankful to her. She's probably one of the hardest managers I ever had. And she taught me so fucking much. She taught me, one thing she taught me was, she said, you have to trust your instincts when you deal with people. She said, you've been studying human behavior your entire life. So when you see these microaggressions and these, you hear these things and you notice these things, that is what it is. You are in the business of corporate management. You are supposed to see what you see. You are a manager. You have to have a very intimate relationship with the people that work with you where you can notice anything. She also said there is a difference between an issue of skill and an issue of will. And once we have provided somebody with the skill and they still perform badly, then we have to discuss their will. Are they willing to do things the right way? T Tiffany Henyard, the man just said, shut the fuck up and learn how to take feedback and don't argue about everything. And the first thing you about to do is prove him right. And he got more votes than you when y'all ran as you mayor and him trustee. He could have very easily swept you that year. If the votes he got as trustee represented people's support for him as mayor, bitch, you'd be at home right now. And I wished he would have believed in himself enough. <laughs> I'm laughing because now I hear a song in my head. Believe what you feel and know you're right because. <laughs> we love the whiz around here if you can't tell. Listen, if he had believed in himself enough or understood that the development that he thought he needed was going to come from this next assignment, because he got the development anyway, he's had to operate as the mayor anyway. 
If he had believed in himself enough, we wouldn't even be dealing with this shit. But I'm glad that we are, so we have something to compare it to. Order, please. Thank you. I'm going to have the finance director talk to you guys because people are saying um, stuff out their mouth that is not true. Tanjanique, he stated that he do not get financial statements or reports for seven months. Can you explain to the residents, which I always got to prove it to y'all. Hold on. Well, I have to prove to y'all and do videos and give you emails of them getting everything that they need. Go ahead, Tanjanique. The trustees receive a financial statements monthly. That has not changed. Mm -hmm. An audit is in process, uh, in progress right now. Hold on. You got to, you got to order. Let her speak like you just the spoke. last fiscal year. And just go with your points so we can go on to the next person, Tangenique. Thank you. Wait, what's she saying? And all grant my change. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Tiffany is sometimes not paying Tangenique, but she's too pretty for her look to be inconsistent. I'm, it's the braids. It's Audit is in. Well, I have to prove to y'all and do videos and give you emails of them getting everything that they need. Go ahead, Tangenique. The trustees receive a financial statement monthly. That has not changed. Mm -hmm. An audit is in process, uh, in progress right now. Hold on. You got to, you got to order. Let her speak like you just the spoke. last fiscal year. And just go with your point so we can go on to the next person. No, <clears throat> we're going to talk about that. <clears throat> we're going to talk about that because in, this is March, in February of, of 2024, which was last month, Ron, the engineer, got up and said that there was a CBG grant application coming up March 31st and an audit was necessary for the grant application. And trustee Kiana Belcher asked the mayor directly, do we have an audit? She said, we do not. And that's on the record. So for her to say that they had an audit that was currently happening in November of 2023 is a lie. Because where is it? And you can look at her and tell. The poor girl has been forced to lie for months. Look at her edges. I'm not being funny. I'm not being ugly. I'm talking about what stress looks like on a person. What guilt looks like on a person. With not sleeping at night because somebody's calling you when they want to. Like you planning their wedding or something. When you have something to do on your own, don't tell the mayor you got a date tonight because she going to call you because she's a hater. Don't tell the mayor it's you and your wife's wedding anniversary because she going to call you. Poor Dr. Nikki Nietzsche Cloud had a heart, was it heart? A blood pressure issue. She told her, well, you need to bring your blood pressure pills to work with you. Her father-in-law fell sick and she had an issue with the woman going and taking care of her family. She don't give a fuck about nobody but herself. But she don't give a fuck, uh, Tangenique, if your edges fall completely out. Natural statements or reports for seven months. Can you explain to the residents, which I always got to prove it to y'all. Hold on. Well, I have to prove to y'all and do videos and give you emails of them getting everything that they need. Go ahead, Tangenique. The trustees receive a financial statement monthly. That has not changed. Mm -hmm. An audit is in process, uh, in progress right now. Hold on. You got you to gotta order. Let her speak. Raise your hand. Let me tell you why Tiffany Henry is intent on letting Tangenique speak. Uninterrupted. I have gotten things that I needed to say. And I needed to memorize them because I used to do radio news. Radio news was one take. Okay? Radio news was one take. It wasn't no go back and fix it. They recorded it in one take. There was no edit. Okay? That's why I've gotten in the habit of flowing here like I do. Because when I said the news, I had to say it accurately. I'm talking about the facts, the content. I also had to speak well. I had to take the proper pauses and the proper breaths and enunciate and make sure my diction was on point. Because I did the afternoon drive when people were driving home from work. So what I said had to be poignant. It had to be interesting. I had to speak in a way that kept people's attention. Tangenique is rehearsed, honey. 
Uh, Tiffany Henyard can't afford for anybody to interrupt her because she might forget what she was supposed to say. This is how people speak when they are brainwashed. There is no affect, no emotion. I could only imagine if Tiffany Henyard had stood over her a time or two while she said these things and made her rehearse them to get them right. I can imagine that kind of abuse because she said to Dr. Nikki Nietzsche Cloud, you stupid bitch. Why you let Kiana Belcher up in here? So I can imagine the things that Tanjanique has heard. But here's the other thing. Tanjanique is making $90,000 a year while the village of Dalton is still paying an accounting firm. And there's no books and there's no money. So everybody going to jail. I, you and just laugh. Watch how she talks. This woman speaks like a cult member. She is so fucking rehearsed. Just like the lady who spoke in the citizens comment, citizens comment, public comment earlier and wouldn't stop speaking when her time was up. She had the same cadence as Tanjanique. Like she's been rehearsed. She doesn't finish her sentences in a natural way. Oh, we know the difference. This school year. And just go with your points so we can go on to the next financial statements or reports for seven months. Can you explain to the residents which I always got to prove? She said, excuse me, y'all. It's dinner time. She said, just go with your points. Well, if she wasn't prepped to rehearse for this conversation, how would you even know she has more things to say? Give it to y'all. Hold on. Well, I have to prove to y'all and do videos and give you emails of them getting everything that they need. Go ahead, Tangeni. The trustees receive a financial statements monthly that has not changed. Mm -hmm. An audit is in process. Uh, in progress right now. Hold on. You got to, you out of order. Let her speak like you just the spoke. last fiscal year. And just go with your points so we can go on to the next person, Tangenique. Thank you. And all grant funding has restricted sources. Thank um, you. Restricted use. So when you say we get money for this, money for that, please be clear to say what the money is for. Yep. All money cannot be used for everything. Yep. So let's just be sure to say that so the residents aren't confused. Okay, so that um, is the point that we're making. People say, grow up, they need to grow Did she sound rehearsed to you? Did she sound like when that girl was calling from Robert's, Robert Kelly's house, talking about, I'm okay, I'm here. And then you see a shadow in the back, talking about some cut it in the conversation. Grow up. It's a shame that they waste all the money on that attorney and lost every lawsuit. That's a shame that they keep them on the record and not fire the individual. Y'all should be asking them type of questions, residents. How are they constantly spending your money but ain't producing nothing? You tell me one thing that these four trustees have done for you, for you, residents. What have they done for you? Because everything that they create or make is against me, the mayor. It ain't nothing for the people. But yet they get up here and we have these long, drawn-out meetings. Y'all didn't just hear what that lady said. She's still on the clock. But they okay with sitting here saying let's suspend the mid, the uh the board meeting for them to speak. Well, come on, to make it make sense. We're gonna pay the lawyer to sit outside so we can do this, but not go downstairs and handle the real business, the real business. Cause we can always do a show and eat some popcorn. I'm all about that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the real business is out the door. Well, we're supposed to be in downstairs talking about lawsuits and what we're about to do, but we're gonna suspend the minutes, the business. To sit here to go back and forth with each other on. Well, you said this. I don't like that. Who cares? Move on. That's what y'all got to pay attention to. So we can clap. We can this. We can that. But it's money that we getting charged about an hour right now while we sit here while he threw a tantrum about having his way to say a statement. We Who threw a tantrum? And she's still talking. We passed general announcement. You ain't hear me say nothing to nobody that made their statements. And then I make my statement and then we move on. Now we got all these department heads that have reports to talk to y'all about the real stuff that's happening in the village. The real stuff. What they selling is fluff. We ain't on that. We up here to tell you what each department head does and what they provide and bring to the table. So when y'all get up there asking questions about, hey, what's this? What's that? Each department head can address it, right? Well, how does she know what the department heads are going to say unless they had a mock meeting? Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Well, they practiced what they were going to say. How does she know what they're going to say? 
How she know all of them aren't going to say, I don't have a report tonight, Mayor. There's nothing to report. Now, right here. So, your answers are sitting before you, but we got to sit here while somebody cry me a river about they need they. Yeah, my daughter just brought me a bottle of water, and I was reminded, I'm going to share this with y'all and kind of just break some of this fucking dumbass tension. I had just moved um, to this uh, place in China called Chongqing. And what a lot of people may not know is Chongqing is in what well, used to be in a province called Sichuan. Uh, the American pronunciation is Sichuan. Um, Sichuan, as you might know, is the the way to describe a very, very spicy Chinese cuisine. So I was living in a place that used to be in Sichuan province, but recently had gained some political power, was no longer part of the province, but still ca carried the food culture. This was a place that is known as the hot pot capital of the world, where some of the spiciest food is, and these peppers that you bite and they numb your tongue. Well, one day, I remember um, this, 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 this thing I'm about to tell you about has happened a couple times uh, while I lived in China. But this one particular time when it happened, I was at this restaurant. I had just moved to Chongqing. And I was eating these spicy noodles. And I asked them for no spice. I said, Buyao la. I don't want spice. Buyao la. Buyao la. And they were like, what? Booyah la. And I was like, oh, no, booyah la. Wash your McWarren. I'm American. I don't want spice. So they gave me their non-spicy version, their Edian Dien la, which is just a little spicy version. And when I say my face was being burnt, and I'm sitting in this food court at this beautiful shopping mall where I, my, my school was in that I was teaching at. And my face is burnt. And I'm trying to be like a duck underwater like my daddy taught me. I'm not going to cry. But I'm sure there was a little tear coming out my eye. And this young man, I don't even remember how this man would have known. But this man walked up to me with a cold bottle of water. Which anybody who's lived in Asia knows he had to procure that. Because cold water is not on tap. You ain't gonna just get no cold water in Asia or most parts of Europe. But he had a bottle of ice cold water for me. And he was like, you must be new. <laughs> And I was so grateful for that water. And just a minute ago, my baby, see, I ordered some um, Chongqing. I found a, a Chinese restaurant in Phoenix that has Chongqing-style Chinese food. So I ordered a meal from there yesterday, and I used the broth. Because if you've ever been in China, you know you don't throw nothing away. Do you hear me? I used the broth to, um, to make a new meal today, and it's spicy as fuck. And my daughter saw me over here struggling and brought me a bottle of water. That was so sweet. Back to the bullshit. Two minutes. They had that two minutes earlier, but didn't take it because they don't like what was said. I don't like what a lot of them say. But I, I sit there and I listen and then I move on because that's how you do a meeting. You don't keep going back. She don't like what they say, but half of us don't even know what the fuck she is saying. Four. But because the media's here, here we go. We hey, thank you, Channel Nine. We will make Channel Nine news, I guess. But that's the problem that I have. So moving on. Okay, Mayor. next on the agenda is Mayor. Village Administrator Report. Mayor. Somebody else? Oh, somebody else? Another twenty minutes. All right, go ahead. Oh, I don't have. Is, is there anybody else? I just want to. Anybody remember what time it was when we started this? I believe it was one o three forty nine. It is one forty thirty nine. Jason House. Might have spoke for about three minutes, if that. This last 37 minutes has been Tangenique and this cokehead before us. Anybody else after that? Is that it? That's it? Okay, so we'll go to you. Then we're going to go on back to the business of the people. All right. Um, I don't have 20 minutes of anything. I do feel that since we're only having meetings once a month, that if the residents are here, then that attorney can wait. Or maybe they should come at eight or nine o'clock after you get through with your report for us to go in executive session. It's not fair for the citizens. And most of these people are seniors that you sit here and have this long meeting. And by the time we come back from downstairs, because right now it already says we have all these lawsuits that keep coming in. It's going to be 30 40 minutes so why is it fair to the citizens in the community that you had them sit here for that amount of time when yes that one can i ask y'all a question kiana belcher i love you i think you are one of the most 
intelligent people I've met in a long time who doesn't say everything that you see. You don't say everything that's on your mind and I can see it. You're very perceptive. You're very intelligent. But you got to understand how to play with, with narcissists, okay? When you ask them questions like, how is this fair? She ain't thought about that shit. <laughs> she don't give a fuck. As a matter of fact, all you're doing is continuing to express your dissatisfaction, which is giving her more energy. So I'll, I'll double down on what I've said before. Trusty Kiana Belcher, trusty Jason House, trusty Tammy Brown, trusty um, Brittany Norwood, trusty Ed Steve, clerk Allison Key. You guys have to start managing your energy and stop trying to deal with this woman as a normal human being. I have had to tell my mother, you don't have a right to sneeze on me and then not want me to treat you like you sick. Okay? You around here sneezing your mental illness all over the place, but you want people to treat you like you perfectly fine. And that's not going to work. I'm going to treat you like you is. I ain't going to ask you, you know, how is it fair? You don't give a fuck about these people. It's obvious. If I took a read at your astrological sign, I would know that. But we don't do that in the church, do we? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Always have. Okay? Listen, if you don't start treating people, I learned overseas, there are, there are, are requirements in other cultures to, to, dim, to display a person's zodiac sign, their solar, their lunar, and their ascending sign on a resume, on a job application. I've seen job requisitions that were asking for people of certain signs because they only wanted certain dispositions coming aboard. If you don't get into it, she can go out there you talking about we spend money anyway so she can wait another hour if you don't go through the business like we supposed to in a uh, generous amount of time and then we can go at the same time you think that nobody is supposed to sit here you play all these defamation whatever smokescreen videos it don't have nothing to do about no news or anything but you sit here and tell story after story after story and don't want nobody to respond it's not fair you sit here talking about you back on the back bank account we didn't uh, we didn't jack the what you say jack the bank i don't know how y'all do that why y'all not in jail y'all should have got some money because she's spending it hell out of but anyway um we had the same person that you talk about just sent us an email at six o'clock saying that the the board approved his payment for the million and whatever dollars and he still ain't got paid. So if you back on the bank account, why you ain't saying let me a check? This is um, so you this is five star we talking about with them eight checks they wanted to see him on the payment arrangement and Jason House was like, I'm not signing nothing until it's one check. The payment's been approved, why won't the board pay him? sit here and you know it's not to go I mean, back and forth because i'm sorry. sure you have something to say i'm sorry let me get that right the payment has been approved why won't the administration pay him i apologize it's all about being fair and you don't play fair so when no. people don't play fair what do you expect right. so no i think moving forward because the executive session used to be at the end of the meeting that you put it back at the end of the meeting the residents can then leave and go wherever and then we still can handle the business i don't think that's harming anybody i release okay so when you talk about playing fair i think you guys never ever play fair as it relates to me becoming the first female tiffany tiffany see usually a person in your seat has gotten some training on communication like effective conflict resolution communication and even if you don't agree with what that person says would know how to package it i'm gonna tell you who knows how to do it excuse me um pete mccain pete mccain knows how to do it you need to get with pete mccain and learn some diplomacy mayor of dalton winning by 82 percent come down let me finish my statement 82 percent of the people's voice in this village. How you dare backstab me, you trustee Belcher number one that lost three seats, never won nothing. And then you trustee house that would never won if you ran. So my problem with both of y'all, y'all was on my ticket. Oh, you both were in two, two weeks in becoming a mayor. That That's why they call her super madam mayor. It's the pimp talk. It ain't just the pimp talk. It's really some pimping and shit going on. But this pimp talk right here. 
didn't even dry yet. And you guys had a whole different agenda for me. Well, but y'all didn't know. Agenda, that the agenda was to be honest. For those of you who aren't familiar with how things started, let me just tell you. Excuse me, I feel a sneeze coming. Um, I had one of those numbing peppers and my tongue is numb. I don't know why I bit into it. I know better. But uh, if you ever get Chinese food and it's got a little pepper, a little, it, you might, you might mistake it for a pea, like a little green pea, but it's not, it's a pepper. It's, listen, don't play with it. But when Tiffany Henry became the mayor, she told the trustees that she was going to pay for her inauguration out of what she raised for her campaign. She had raised about $200,000 in total. And she was supposed to use some of that money for her inauguration. Well, then she comes to the board with the bills. And then after that, she was supposed to have a couple organizations cover the fireworks. Then she came to the board with the bills. Thing after thing after thing that's been on her. When she says they changed I don't know what she means because all they're doing is what trustees are supposed to do. They haven't moved any differently than she did when she was a trustee, requiring um, requiring uh, warrant lists before the last minute. Good night, my sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good night. Say Jen. Say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you in the morning. See you in the morning. <laughs> All right, baby. Listen, she's sitting up here in my mouth. I can't do it. Uh, if, uh, let me let this play. Y'all understand where the root cause was. It ain't like the, the trustees just flipped the switch on her. All the trustees have been doing is what they were supposed to do from the jump, especially after they found out from Cristiano that they were entering a deficit. At that point, they were heading in May of 2021. They were heading toward a $90,000 deficit. She didn't say it. The finance guy who no longer is there. Somebody check on him. Oh, her. Make sure he ain't come up missing because he just kind of fell off the map and disappeared. Hopefully not for real, for real. Frog situation, huh? Y'all stung me, but then I know I had a scuba suit on, huh? Yeah, and I made it across the water. So all I'm telling you is that y'all got to stop with the mess because y'all keep on. Y'all got to hear that again and you got to look at Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Why I keep wanting to call that nigga Kirk Franklin? Uh, y'all got to look at Keith Freeman's face while she says this dumb shit. Don't keep on doing what's wrong. And you mad because I got something to talk about and y'all don't? That's because I'm working. While y'all talking about me, I'm working. As T.I. say. So all I'm telling you is that you both were in two, two weeks in becoming a mayor. The ink didn't even dry yet. And you guys had a whole different agenda for me. But y'all didn't know that Scorpion the Frog situation, huh? Y'all stung me, but then I know I had a scuba suit on, huh? Yeah, and I made it across the water. So all I'm telling you is that y'all got to stop with the mess. He said that was the dumbest shit. <laughs> Did you see his eye? Keith Freeman said, here she go with this shit. Oh, Lord, the coke is leveling off. <laughs> Because y'all keep on, keep on doing what's wrong. And you mad because I got something to talk about and y'all don't? That's because I'm working. While y'all talking about me, I'm working. As T.I. say, y'all watch my life while I live it. That's the problem. So every time we come here, it is y'all amusement. Y'all, That's what it is. You want a reaction out of me. I don't see y'all around town. I don't see you at a gas station, at a grocery store. I don't see you doing nothing, Belcher. Nothing. But running your mouth. Nothing. That's it. You always got something to say when it's not even relevant right now because why did you not say none when that lawyer needed to go downstairs to talk? Man, but he wasn't. Hold on. Okay. But you didn't do that. But now all of a sudden, everybody want to see his suspend the rules and get mad when I got something to say too. Yeah, we all got something to say. But right now, my whole team got something to say. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to do the day to day. They don't want to actually put the warrant list together. It's their bills from their department. But yet, we ain't even got to that point because everybody wants to suspend the rules for what? Uh, correction, they are your bills from their department. You have your village department heads placing orders for you like uh, flags with your face on them. 
like a $65,000 worth of Christmas lights, like $850,000 worth of concrete for the ice skating rink, like $65,000 worth of epoxy covering. All of these were purchases you should have made yourself or you should have asked the board for approval for. Why is Keith Freeman charging $5,000 a month to makeup companies and wig companies? Excuse me, ma'am. No, the village department heads don't run the day to day. They run your bidding and y'all all, all going to get locked up. To throw a tantrum because you didn't have your moment to say none. I asked and asked. Anybody got any more discussion? Anybody got something else to say? No, y'all did. But now when it's all at the end and now everybody from go through their report, y'all want to stop it. Any other time we hit uh, um, what is the closed session at the top of the agenda? Any other time? Just because a lot of lawyers ask us, can we go down first? And we have done that. But today it's no, we're not going to do it because of whatever reason. That's not fair. I just think y'all wrong for that. So all I'm going to say, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to leave it alone. Y'all have to actually come and do some work before y'all can tell me anything. Y'all don't do any work. Y'all work on doing things to try to hinder me, but not knowing that I have so many resources that I go around what y'all try to do. It never, ever works. Think about it. No weapon form against me. She'll prosper, right? I ain't said one going to prosper, huh? Mm. But it still didn't prosper. So I'm, I'm just going to read. I'm going to reteach that again. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against thee, you shall condemn, for this is the heritage of the saints. Okay? Ma'am, you don't qualify. Saying that because that's all y'all do. When are you going to do the will of the people? When are we going to work together on something? We ain't got to like each other. We don't. But we need to work together for the overall of the village. Because at the end of the day, I'm still producing. Y'all did a recall. Y'all did a bank account thing. Y'all did a FOIA. Every, every lawsuit, 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 lawsuit. Y'all the one costing. Y'all, you four. You the ones that's costing the village money. But yet y'all point the finger back to me. But I keep winning all the lawsuits that you guys keep doing. Come on now, make it make sense. And then y'all need to fire that lawyer. I'm going to keep putting it on the gym until you fire him. Other than that, I feel y'all in bed with people. Y'all need to fire that lawyer. All right, going back to the agenda. Go ahead, village administrator. Sick lady. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, Keith. <laughs> Is that better? Yep. Okay. All right. Good evening, Mayor, uh, residents of Dalton. Um, <clears throat> man. Uh, well, the uh, if you look through your board packet, the um, tax anticipated warrant uh, we previously approved. Uh, I need you guys to revisit it. There are two separate payments. For about, I believe it's uh, 1.5 uh, or 1.6 million dollars a piece. Um, so the ordinance had to be changed uh, to reflect 2022 and 2023 because the payments will be drawn in both years, uh, 2022, the end of 2022, and then the beginning of 2023. Uh, we also have uh, several projects that are coming up. I believe one is an MWRD project that Rhino. Uh, give you an update on. And then I believe that when uh, Stacy gets an opportunity, he'll have a conversation with uh, Mr. Corral, Stacy uh, from Public Works. He'll have an opportunity to tell you guys about some projects that we had uh, have going on uh, currently. Um, I, it, it, I would be remiss if I didn't say that. Um, I think that there is a certain level of um, there is a certain level of unethical behavior that uh, and ill intent when we talk about um, how the trustees describe what's going on with the administration. And I think that they don't give the mayor or this administration enough credit for dealing with all of the what I like to call shenanigans that go on in the village. Um, there has been uh, several times that we have gone back and forth and we have talked about um, being able to get past all of this. And I think that it's pretty clear to say that when you walk into a situation where all you want to do is provide really, really good service to the residents and you work incredibly hard, and you want to make sure that their streets, alleys, sewers, you don't want basements to flood. You, you want to be able to, if you, if you put out a program, you want to be able to deliver on it. And then when you talk about the politics of 
I'm going to let him finish because I think Kanye West is one of his play cousins. Because they both got that, that funny looking face and that mush mouth. But before he finishes, I just want to remind you that there was a woman who went to the water company and had her bill audited. Well, she didn't go to have it audited. She had questions about her bill. And Dr. Nikki Nietzsche Cloud audited her bill, found out that the village of Dalton owed her $3,000, got the check cut for her. Dr. Nikki Cloud went back to Keith Freeman to let him know there was an issue where one of the clerks in the water department had entered bills mis in incorrectly and was entering bills incorrectly. Dr. Cloud asked Keith Freeman to do an audit on all the water bills and he said no. He said he did not want to do an audit, according to Dr. Cloud, because he didn't want to have to pay out all that money. If people came in asking for things, then he would give them. And if I remember correctly, please correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Cloud. Dr. Cloud was there until sometime in 2022. If I remember correctly, Dr. Cloud left toward the end of 2022 if i remember what she said but this is the same person who said it's really hard to do this with you know and all i want to do is come here and serve the residents well why don't you serve the residents by auditing their bills and refunding them appropriately residents of dalton why doesn't he serve you by auditing your bills and refunding you appropriately what's going on um and then you talk about again um being upright being moral being ethical about the decisions that you make i think that after a certain amount of time when you when you realize that what you're doing whether it be trying to recall someone who is um rightfully appointed to their seat whether it be about you know subverting the um, um subver keith freeman are you politically ignorant too he said whether it is recalling someone who's rightfully appointed to their seat. Tiffany Henry was elected by, she had 1,000 votes. She was elected. She was not appointed. You believe in, uh, you, you drink in William Morris Kool-Aid. In the Illinois Constitution by adding, you know, or changing a bank account without the knowledge of the financial institution that protects it. Um, there are a ton of things that we could talk about, but I think that if you really think about what's going on, honestly, if you guys look at yourselves and you honestly look at what's going on, I would hope that you would somehow have some type of regrets about the decisions that you've made. Uh, if not for yourselves, right, and your own moral accountability and character, then I would hope that you would honestly take a look and say, hey, listen, you owe the taxpayers um, an apology because... Y'all, I want you to see something. This is a look of a man who does not have a thriving, intimate relationship with his wife. Okay? This is the look of a man who bought his wife based on some dreams. And has disappointed her so many fucking times. She went on ahead and just went back to work. Because she tired. She tired of the hedge funds and the projects and the albums. And now he finally got a job doing something, making some money. But obviously it's not going to last. And she know. She well aware. They live right there in um, South Holland. She know. That man has not been respected by his wife sexually in a long time. <clears throat> you're not spending your own money. This isn't your money you're spending when you take anyone to court, whether it be yourselves or not. No, you're, you're wasting their money. That's money that could go to streets, alleys, sidewalks. Um, that's money that can go back in their pockets, that could lower water bills you know, eliminate the need to have to pay for vehicle stickers. There's a whole host of things that you could do with that money. But the fact is, is that we spend more money on lawyers than anything. And I think it's tragic for 
anyone to sit up here, whether it be trustee House, trustee Belcher, trustee Norwood, trustee Brown. I think it's tragic for anyone to say that they feel like for whatever reason, they, at least they can sit and say, hey, listen, I think it's in their best. They think it's in their best interest to continue with these, again, what I call shen shenanigans and not look at the eyes of the taxpayers that's right in front of them and say, hey, listen, I messed this thing up. I really, really did. And I owe all of you guys an apology. And now this is supposed to be his his village administrators report, y'all. What he doesn't really understand at this point, and if you notice, his administrator addresses have gotten much shorter and much more respectful because he recently realized that the, the trustees hold him by the nuts. Him and the finance director are beholden to the trustees. Hmm. And when the trustees say we need documents within a certain amount of time, otherwise you'll be suspended or terminated, that is. And that particular resolution is about to be over reinstated at this next board meeting because Tiffany Henyard vetoed the resolution for Keith Freeman and or Tanjanique Miller to have to turn over documents. She vetoed it in the last meeting. Well, the only thing she has to honor on the agenda is an override. So that override will happen in the next board meeting. And then he will have to turn the documents in. That's why his administrative reports have gotten much shorter since now. He used to talk all this tough talk, all this dumb shit, all this young bully shit, this smart aleck talk. He don't know more. And I think it would be in the best interest of everyone. Um, I think it would be in the best interest of his wife to go ahead and call her mama and tell her she might need to come home soon. Sitting down below us to at least down below us. at least try to work things out and do better so i'll get off tiffany henyard disrespects these trustees behind their back audaciously she has huge audacity when it comes to how she disrespects these trustees you can always tell what a person thinks about you based on how their kids treat you and please believe these are her children my soapbox but there's this thing called character there's this thing called character that again i have to look at these guys i know dan likes to laugh about stuff like character you know um mm -hmm. there's this thing that i gotta look you guys in the eyes every day when i get up and i come to work and i can look you guys dead in the eye and know i did my job and I hope that these guys down here below you, I hope they can say the th same thing when they're wasting your money. That's all, Mayor. Mm. All right, thank you. I'm telling Next you, week when he be there with Tiffany Hingard at 1 o'clock in the morning, smelling her musty-ass wig, and he's and she's smelling his 5 o'clock shadow, I guarantee you. I have engineer's report. Ryan? Now, before Ron speaks, let me tell you something I, I learned about Ron recently. I learned recently, based on the last special board meeting, which was the committee of the whole meeting, that Ron works for a engineering firm that is charging the village of Dalton $30,000 a month. But they they not engineering correctly, as we've heard from the residents. And there are many projects that need to be done that aren't. So what is the village adult and paying $30,000 a month for is the question. Oh, and here's the other thing. Thank you for reminding me, Trustee Belcher. I heard you. They're also not bringing any real money. Trustee Tammy Brown mentioned that. There are other cities nearby that are getting a whole lot more grants, millions of dollars. And Ron and his firm are bringing in the standard $400,000, $200,000 grants, not getting any extra grants. And those grants are given by CBG, and they may not even get that CBG grant if they don't come up with an audit. You know they're watching. You know they know good and goddamn well that audit you submit with that application is going to be fake, Ron. I hope you got your plane ticket to France ready. Uh, good evening, Mayor, Madam Clerk, trustees, department heads, and residents, the village of Dalton. Just a couple items, items in my report this evening. Uh, we have paid various streets uh this year uh right now we're finishing up we're doing a landscaping and also the pavement striping 
Uh, the accomplishments, we did uh, Champaign Avenue, 148th to Sibley Boulevard, Oak from 148th to Sibley, Dearborn, 149 to 147, Dobson, 154 to 156, Hastings, 151 to 154, Minerva, 154 to 156, and also 155th Street. We will be improving several alleys before the end of the construction season. Uh -huh. um, the residents did bring up flooding issues. Uh, MWRD. Uh, but those alleys didn't get finished because before the end of the construction season, there was actually a construction strike, which is still pending. So those alleys have not been fixed yet, just so that you know. They're working on two front flood relief programs. Uh, one is for $400,000 and the other one is for a million dollars. MWRD will design, bid, and construct these projects. So mm -hmm. none of that money will come to the village. Mm -hmm. MWRD will embark on those projects on their own. Mm -hmm. um, the Public Works Department identified those locations um, that are in need of dire flooding relief. Yep. Um, that's about all I have uh, for this evening. That's about all right. All Thank have. you, Ron. Appreciate uh, you. Any questions? Oh, I do have one item on the agenda. Mm -hmm. That would be the intergovernmental agreement for 154th Street between the villages South of Holland. Dalton and South Holland. Mm -hmm. uh, program through uh, South Suburban Mayors and Managers mm -hmm. and CMAP. Mm -hmm. uh, the villages combined will be receiving $1.7 million, and that just increased by another $125,000. Um, to design and also uh, publicly bid and construct 154th Street to those limits of MLK Park Avenue to Dorchester. Um, that is on the agenda for passage this evening. Um, uh, I would trust the, uh, the board would pass that so that way we can move forward. And that project uh, will be scheduled for construction at the end of next summer. I will entertain any questions the board may have right now. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Next on the agenda is the park. The reason why he always makes sure he says that at the end, I'll entertain any questions the board has right now is because he knows it's up to the board whether or not he gets paid. So he stays neutral. But, Ron, they see you and your firm, honey. They see you well. Reports. Um, Deputy Chief Lacey, police. Thank you, Madam Mayor, uh, board. The Dalton Police Department responded to 1,935 calls for service uh, this year. Um, the, they have also enforced parking enforcement of 872. They wrote uh, 150 state tickets. Um, the enforcement of red light citations were 5,816. Uh, 5,000, I mentioned this before, y'all. I have mentioned this before. 5,816 stoplight tickets. There are only 20,000 people in Dalton. Not all drivers, okay? Not all drivers. There are only, there are 20,000 human beings. I'm sorry, 20,000 voters. 20,000 people of voting age. So 18 or older. But not all those people are driving. And 20% of the population of Dalton got tickets at a stoplight. The town is only five square miles. So which stoplights? You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm talking about? Because Martin showed us in that one episode, them things ain't always calibrated properly. Mm-hmm. Um, we are down in um, auto thefts, and I want to say because winter is coming up and people like to get in their cars and they're warm, uh, don't start your car up and leave it running because that's where they'll get in your car. Crimes are crimes of opportunity. They'll get in your car, and guess what? Your car won't be there when you get in it, that warm car. So instead of dealing with the second chance boys going around stealing people's cars, we going to tell the people, uh, make sure you lock your car or don't warm it up. Because if you do, it might get stolen. Okay, Lacey. What you're trying to get in. So I, I would instruct the public to not leave their keys in their cars when they're, to try to warm them up when winter comes. Um, there are some positive things that are going on. What Lacey just told you is he has no ability of making the streets safer for the people of Dalton. 
He is powerless against the crime running rampant in those streets. That's what he just said. He said he ain't shit. And that's why he looks like a potato. The police department right now, as uh, the department, uh, the village is aware, we did a roadside safety check in the month of October where we have. You see it, don't you? Uh, enforced multiple citations, five suspended. We recovered uh, one weapon and the uh, uh, we will have continued to have more uh, traffic enforcement. And what this is, is it's basically the concerns of the people as far as speeding, as far as uh, things that are going on with these vehicles that are coming through Dalton, because usually what happens is it's uh, cars not in Dalton, but cars from outside of Dalton. So I would encourage the people to stop by the stop signs. We've also initiated a traffic unit to where they uh, people were concerned about the stop signs. We're enforcing the stop signs. We're enforcing the, the speeding. I want to say I'm a 27 year veteran of the police department and I am proud of the police department that I'm currently leaving leading. So we are currently moving in a different direction. Uh, we are. Hey, we have also tomorrow. We are also having a community policing meeting we have started that back up and that will be at 14900 uh greenwood that's going to be at uh police station two and commander rowley if she is here can you go up and explain the program uh so that way uh, the public will understand it and we encourage the public to participate if you've been keeping your eyes on commander riley the lady who's about to speak you have seen her get mo and mo tied she went from a lady who stood back there during the meetings to a lady who sits in a chair half asleep during the meetings with so much equipment on. She is woe down. If she still works for the village of Dalton, I don't know why except for some overtime or maybe some PPP scams or some other things that she has access to. Because that job, ugh, look at the new meetings. As we continue to watch these meetings, I will point Commander Riley out to you. And you will see she is the officer over in the corner half sleep. Hello, I'm Commander Riley. On tomorrow, we're going to have our community policing meeting at 14900 Greenwood Road. I'm asking all of you citizens to come out and voice your concerns when it comes to things that's taking place in the village of Dalton. It's a lot of things that take place that the police is not aware of, but if you let us know what's going on, I can assure you that we're going to move this department in the direction where we can start just cleaning up just little things that you all see in the community. So again, that's tomorrow at um, 6 o'clock. It's going to be at the new police station right there on Greenwood. And we encourage... Commander Riley, these people have sucked the life out of you. You had full cheeks, broad shoulders. Now you look like you need some Botox. You done got skinny. Have you been eating? Commander Riley, these people have sucked the life out of you. Ma'am, they will ring you out. Do you hear me? They don't give a fuck about you, ma'am. This is what you looked like, Commander Riley, on November 2023. November 6, 2023. Ma'am, this is what you look like. Look at the life in your face. You are gorgeous here. Full cheeks. Got your wax job on your chin. Look at that. But today, ma'am, you look woe down each and every one of you all to come out and tell your neighbors too because it's important that you all come out to let us know what's taking place in the community that way we can let our officers know what it is that we would like to see them do differently again that's tomorrow at six o'clock all right thank you commander rally also um there are those that probably have been seeing us walking through the neighborhoods we have initiated a walk and talk to where as we get out there and talk with the community to find out what's going he lying you know that's intimidation. You know that's official oppression. I woke up every single morning in China and saw a hundred police officers walking down the street together. Why? To remind the people that we the fuck are here. Don't ever get it twisted. Ain't no police walking and talking up and down no goddamn streets with no black people. You know that's a form of oppression. Official oppression by law.
on in their community on their block. So these are things that uh, can be talked about at the community policing tomorrow, but you will continue to see us in the neighborhoods to where we, we know what's going on. You tell us what's going on because uh, you are our eyes and our ears. Um, things are down in Dalton as far as crime, but it only works with a community working together. Uh, with that traffic unit, we're also enforcing speeding. We're also enforcing overweight trucks. I understand the gentleman earlier, he was concerned about the speeding on Lincoln. I have my traffic officer back there right now. That's one of the instructions that he will have to uh, enforce down Lincoln also. Also, I am actually, oh, also we are actually starting up a uh, commendation program. Too many times the officers get out there and they are not recognized. You you basically see the officers and, you know, they get beat up on pretty bad. I mean, a good officer is a good officer. A bad officer is a bad officer, but it's account accountability with my leadership. It's accountability. The officer is going to be held accountable for what they do. Okay. And Mayor, Madam Mayor, I want to state thank you. Thank you for supporting the police department and letting us operate as a police department. Because without that, we would not have the new equipment that we have. We would not have the things that we we're doing. She's allowing us to do our job. And that's that's what you need. You need a police department to, to do their job, but they need to be accountable. Let me say something. I was thinking about something earlier today. While he's talking about, you know, letting them buy all the all the nigga trinkets they want to buy and get all the overtime they want. So I, I don't know why I didn't remember this, but the federal limit on interest on a vehicle loan, the federal limit is 29.99%, okay? Well, we did some math on the two Tahoes. Well, there's actually about six Tahoes. They have 57% interest rates, which is weird. And so I'm wondering if that's where the kickback is. So one of the best things, um, among others, that we are uh, actually initiating, we're initiating an also tactical unit. Uh, and everybody here knows pretty much what a tactical unit is. Those are officers out there that's in plain clothes that are basically going to do things that the regular patrol officer will not be doing as far as in a mark unit but they're going to be they're going to be out there also also i'm, I'm also proud to say we are initiating another canine unit to my right is officer malone uh he is actually in training right now for the canine unit he actually had to be here so that you guys can see the uh the, the canine unit that is actually going to be uh hitting the street so you've seen some of those plain clothes officers at the Dalton meetings, um, uh, village of Dalton residents and anybody else who's at those meetings. Um, I think it's very important that you know who you're sitting near because those same plain clothes officers, um, will start shit in meetings. They'll start arguments. They will cause confusion. Um, he didn't say male or female. He didn't say young or old. Like I literally fought against the police with people. And then when I went back downtown later that night, I saw those same people talking to the police. So like, you know, you can't trust who you sitting next to unless you know them. Um, so I'm sure you guys have already thought about that or you already know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm sure I'm not saying something you don't already know. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the, these plain clothes officers who uh, don't do what, uh, all the officers do as far as in marked vehicles, whatever the fuck that means. They are in those meetings as well. You've seen them before. So he's in the six to eight week program with his partner. So I'm going to let Officer Malone basically tell about the unit. Good evening, everyone. I'm K-9 Officer Malone with the Dalton Police Department. So, we get so Officer Malone is the other person that made Tommy G leave public property illegally and show his ID before he could leave the grounds, which is also illegal. This is who it was. This person. Bitch, I got your number. Fucking coward. I mean, if if you if you don't understand right now the danger that you placed yourself in because you violated his civil rights twice. 
And I know y'all are used to the village adult and paying out settlements for y'all, but ain't no more money to pay out no more settlements. Ain't no money to pay out no more settlements. And y'all are hoping that you come, uh, you, you hurt somebody or bother somebody and they take a settlement. But there's going to be that one or two people who go ahead and pay their attorney to go all the way to court. Who don't mind an actual lawsuit. Because it ain't about the money and it ain't about any of that. It's about the principle. What's his name, Carl Malone? Hold on, let me get it. Oh, he's in the six to eight week program with his partner. So I'm going to let Officer Malone basically to, to do things again? that the regular patrol officer will not be doing as far as in a mark unit. But they're going to be they're going to be out there also. Also, I'm I'm also proud to say we are initiating another canine unit. To my right is Officer Malone. Uh, he is actually in training right now for the K-9 unit. He actually had to be here so that you guys can see the, uh, the, the K-9 unit that is actually going to be. It is not by any form of accident that Lewis Lacey has not introduced this man by his full name. Because that's not what he's there for. Okay? He is there because they know black people are afraid of dogs. And for decades, black people have been used, I'm sorry, dogs have been used to intimidate black people. Think about any time in history, in America, when dogs weren't used. That's what this man's job is. Because they had that dog when they went over and put Tommy off the property. They had that dog when they made that man show their, his ID and called it in. They had that dog then too. And why was the dog there? To put a reporter, somebody with a press pass. I hope, Tommy, you had a press pass. Hint, hint. Hint, motherfucking hint, bitch. Nigga. I hope you had a press pass. Listen, this is Officer Malone. And it's not by accident that Lewis Lacey has not introduced him by his full name or what his capacity is. Because we know that that dog is not there to do drug busts because he didn't say so. And we ain't never heard him or Tiffany Henry talk about drugs. Now, why does a police department get a dog? Usually a canine unit is a drug detection tool, right? Canine units are, are, are very rarely used to scare and intimidate people. We've seen it on cops and stuff. You know, if somebody's running, they let a dog go to bring them down. But what are they getting this dog for? Uh, hitting the streets soon. He's in the six to eight week program with his partner. So I'm going to let Officer Malone basically tell about the unit. Good evening, everyone. I'm K-9 Officer Malone with the Dalton Police Department. So we got a new officer in town. It's Officer Max. Uh, he's a Belgian Malinois, two years old, uh, brand new, fresh. He has already trained. This nigga said Belgian Malinois. He means Belgian Malinois. M-A-L-I-N-O-I-S. I'm almost certain. Belgian Malinois. That's what it is. He said, what? Take the time to learn what the dog is, and I suggest you do. I suggest you take the time to learn that dog because that dog is extremely strong and extremely smart. That dog is a German Shepherd time 10, bitch, and I hope he turn on you. What's his name? Don't make me, don't make me learn his name, honey. Send that dog some telepathic messages. Uh, he's training a dual, pro, uh, dual purpose. What's his name? So we got a new officer in town. It's Officer Max. Uh, he's a Belgian Malinois. Max, the Belgian Malinois. You probably have very beautiful blue eyes, I'm guessing, Max. Hey, Max, sick him. <laughs> Two years old. Uh, brand new, fresh. He has already training. Uh, he's training a dual, pro, uh, dual purpose, tracking, doing drugs activity, uh, also for missing children. You know, Why did so you look at Lewis Lacey 
Lewis Lacey when he said doing drugs activity. He didn't say tracking during drug activity. He said tracking doing drugs activity. That's two different things. What they using the dog for? Yeah, I'm feeling that picture. So, uh, brand new, fresh. He has already training. Uh, he's training a dual, pro uh, dual purpose. Tracking, doing drugs activity. Uh, also for missing children. Doing, you know. doing drugs activity. Y'all ain't heard them say nothing about drug busts in Dalton. Not once, ever, 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 never. Now all of a sudden they getting a dog doing drugs activity. And he looks at Lacey when he says that, but then he looks at back at the people when he says the rest. So it's things that we have calls to that missing children outside the house, uh, phone calls. Can you come get our kids? Is kids there? Those dogs are trained to track the scent of smell. Also, we have the dog for officer safety. He said those dogs are tracked to train. Is this dog trained for that? Those dogs. Okay, but Belgian Malinois are trained for that. But is this dog able to do that? Does this dog show the capability of doing that? Or is this just an attack dog to scare old black people? While you walk up and down the street talking to people, shaking them down, intimidating them. You going to get caught. I'm going to tell you something right now, Dalton. There's a leak in that old building. And somebody running their mouth. And I'm going to tell you what I know. Your police department has already been infiltrated. Oh, I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Who's been sent to do investigation is coming through your police department, honey. Oh, you thought it was somebody off in the crowd. <laughs> and he's a brand new fresh dog. He's, he's amazing. For the last couple of uh, days I had him, he's just been awesome. Uh, so I'm going to bring him in. Um, but first off, He's a dog. If you don't like dogs, please don't start trying to run up out of here. Now, now watch what they doing. This is some Willie Lynch shit. If I ever seen it, they ain't prepared these people for this dog. They didn't give out a flyer or nothing saying trigger warning. You go in PetSmart expecting to see a dog. You might go in Walmart expecting to see a dog. You don't go to a government meeting at your city hall on a regular basis expecting to see a dog, especially in this small town. This is conditioning. This is intimidation. Why would they bring this dog into this meeting? Oh, because they're going to see the dog again. That's why. Scare him, freak him out. You know, we, he's still he's still new, but he's my boy. Um, and Wait a minute. Uh, these dogs are trained. These are professional dogs. You're not going to just scare them and freak them out if they ready for the field. This ain't no damn Labrador or Chihuahua. This is a Belgian Malinois. They look you in the eye, honey. They don't flinch, bitch. You'll never freak one out. It will look at you. It will not bark. Okay. Question so far? No? Ah, uh, let's see the dog. Uh, you see the dog? You got my phone? Hold on. You got my phone? Hold on. 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 Also, I, I want to... Also, I want to bring up this dog. Why in such a tense climate where people are talking about official impression and being arrested and being uh, called, the police called on them at the water department and a police officer asking somebody what you going to ask today and standing by the podium while they talk. Why in this tense environment would you add a dog with the history of dogs being used against black people? You're not that tone deaf, Tiffany Henry, and neither are you, Louis Lacey. Collins taught you everything he knew about controlling people, didn't he? Uh, 
it, the, the payment of the dog is not coming out of the general fund. It's coming from uh, money that was seized in drug forfeiture, asset forfeiture, federal forfeiture. So the village is not paying for this. This is things that uh, when Officer Masucci was a uh, canine officer, unfortunately, his, his animal, his dog has got. So they're using drug money to buy the dogs? What? That don't math for me. I thought that was evidence. Y'all just admitted to, to confiscating drug money and embezzling it to buy equipment for the village of Dalton. You didn't run that through any financing forensic firm. You didn't run that through any audit. You didn't clear that with any attorney. You just took drug money and bought a dog. And I know ain't no a Belgian Malinois the same equivalent as no damn drug money. So where the rest of the drug money? And why weren't the police cars paid for then? And the ammunition that you never even brought the invoice to the board for? Oh, you thought I forgot, honey? I'm smarter than you. We are smarter than you. That's why we sitting here watching you about to get arrested, looking like a hot potato. Too old to do the things that he would normally do. Masucci, I want to say thank you for what you did with your animal and the money that you brought in. So realistically, the, the money that is brought in that this new canine unit will be doing is where Officer Masucci left off. So the K new canine unit will be picking up where he left off to where guess what? Madam Mayor, when we come to you, we want some more money. <laughs> but I want, I want to say, okay, here we go. Lacey's scared. That is beautiful. That literally is one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite dogs. But in order to have that dog, you have to be so disciplined because that, that dog is for work. That ain't no dog you just keep around the house. It'll tear your house up. Did Tiffany Henyard and Keith Freeman leave the room? Last thing I heard her say was, does he have a muffle on him? I think she meant a muzzle. She said, do he have a muffler? And I think she meant a muzzle, but y'all know she ain't that bright. I'm trying to figure out Y'all know what they're doing, right? They're purposely intimidating these people. Why would he throw that ball over there by Clerk Key? Knowing that would make the dog run toward the ball. Why would... He's trying to eat the, the ball. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. You understand that the reward of happiness, you know he's got a good job. So, Madam Mayor, why don't you go over there and. <laughs> now, if they weren't interested in intimidating these people, why wouldn't the mayor go over there? And, and 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 mayor, I'd also like to see you drink some of that water, that Dalton water too. No reacting for his gum, but I'm gonna run for real. Wait a minute. Look, I'm gonna stand on the side of you. Y'all, y'all wanna come with me? What no, nobody. Uh, okay, I'm just getting down. What the fuck does she have on? Somebody tell. Somebody know. I mean, it look like them. Uh. Eveline, her Eveline tights. 
see that face? Yeah. Y'all give it up for his new police officer. Is that some Yeezy shit I don't know about that people buy because it costs a lot, not necessarily because it looks good or is functional? Because what the fuck is she wearing? Anyway. Congratulations. Oh, that's, the same suit she had. that's the same suit she had on. And her makeup is melted, too. This was the same night that the newscaster, Dame Placco, asked her about being in Las Vegas. So, <laughs> so wait, hold on, wait, let me get back. <laughs> you can tell this bitch ain't never had nothing. Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. So, unfortunately, Officer Malone has to leave because he has to go back to school, uh, which is a two-hour ride away. Uh, three hour right away. Um, he brought the dog so that way you guys can see uh, how the Dalton Police Department is moving in a different direction, in a positive direction, but we also are community based. So we just want to thank you, Madam Mayor. We do. We want to thank you because without you, a lot of this stuff would not be. So we I need to understand how this moment was any different than a Nino Brown costume. And Rihanna's bitch better have my money. Yeah, and, and I just want to reiterate, this is not coming out the general fund. This is money that's coming out of the asset forfeiture, federal and state. That would be including the dog and his equipment and his vehicle. So, Officer Malone, I'm going to say this. When you guys get out there, bring me some more money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what asset forfeiture is. So a lot of times we hear that things are being paid for by asset forfeiture. It's drug money. They're selling drugs. I told you. I speculate. Speculate. S-P-E-C-U-L-A-T-E, -E, Tiffany. Play it back really slow. Speculate and look it up. You don't, have to, you don't have to learn how to say it, honey. Just learn what it means. And we'll go from there. I'll see you next week. I speculate that the tree trimming guy, who I think works for Raul's, he is the plug. He provides drugs and he cuts the trees. He kind of hides his biz, his drug business in his tree business. The tree business is a front for a drug dealing business, but he's a plug. So he provides drugs. Okay. And I suspect that he's providing those drugs to public works through Stacy Carell. Okay. And I suspect that Stacy Carell is distributing the drugs to different people in public works to flip it. Asset forfeiture, but you never talk about drug busts. There's no report for asset forfeiture. You don't mention that in your report. I didn't know asset forfeiture came through the police department. I thought that was a grant or something. Uh, uh, freaking um, the other drug dealer's girlfriend, uh, Tangenique Miller. Oh, she's definitely a drug dealer's girlfriend, honey. It, I don't not know who they are because I haven't been one. I'm not one. Never wanted to be one. Don't like those kind of men. They don't tickle my fancy. I prefer intelligence and integrity. I prefer a successful track record of leadership and management. I prefer something you can do legally. <laughs> okay, I'm a sapiosexual baby. But Tangenique Miller, the other drug dealer's girlfriend, always mentions asset forfeiture. And you, I told you, I think her and Stacey are fucking. Y'all. Y'all. This is a tangled web. I literally believe that, that, that Stacey and Tangenique are in a sexual relationship based on some body language they gave off. I literally believe that Stacy is using public works and the public works workers. The reason why they're okay with not getting a raise. You ain't heard nobody from public works say nothing about it, have you? The reason they're okay with it is because that ain't what they're there for anyway. 
Them, them the little niggas, where did Second Chance go? What did they tell uh, Tiffany Henry to send her, her um, sex offender boyfriend to public works? Because that's where the drug dealers are. That's where the drug dealers are. Where, what happens with the second chance? Where, where, where are the reports on second chance? How come we always hear about second chance but we never see nothing from them? Because that's the drug dealers. They all in public works. And right now, the reason, see, if anybody gets hurt in this situation for real, for real, the, the reason why Tiffany gets so angry and Stacy is starting to get so sassy is because they owe the tree trimming guy money. I cannot remember your name and I'm going to, honey. Tree trimming guy. I believe you work for Raul's. That's the name of your business. But they owe him money. That's why his girlfriend got up there and spoke earlier in this meeting about the the um the trustees paying all bills. That's her boyfriend. Uh Tr Brandy Norwood, are you passionate about trees, aren't you? The reason why they get so angry, Stacy specifically, Tangenique specifically. Tiffany specifically and Lacey specifically and Kim specifically, excuse me, they get mad when all the bills don't get approved to get paid because they are literally, this whole administration is a front for a drug selling operation and I cannot wait until the feds lay it fucking bare. There may be some prostitution here and there, but I definitely can see the drug dealing. It's, 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 it's what's happening. It's the only thing that's never talked about. Oh, uh, that being said, uh, Madam Mayor, um, like, uh, again, like I had said, the, we're doing a walk and talk. Okay. And that is not only for the officers. And these two right here. They got such an unprofessional relationship. Y'all all nasty. Oh, I have the command staff also doing the walk and talk to us. We are going through the neighborhoods and we are talking to. She like, oh. sometimes I don't know if the back of his head is cute or what. I guess it depends on how much I've been drinking, how late it is in the day. The residents to see uh, what their concerns are and the best way uh, that we can deal with the problems that uh, that are occurring. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. I just want to say that it's not going to happen overnight, but we're moving in a direction to where we are people based and we are nothing without the people. Madam Mayor, I want to thank you. OK, I want to thank you for everything that you've done. Y'all didn't see him stall so they could go have this quick private meeting in the back. Who did you see just leave? Janice Johnson, Tangenique Miller, Keith Freeman, Pete McCain. Y'all didn't see, y'all don't see Lacey stalling so they can have this private meeting in the back that violates the Open Meetings Act? And why is Tiffany Henyard standing right there? Why isn't she sitting in her seat? Y'all, there are so many games being played all at the same fucking time. And I'm going to say that, guess what? We're going to keep it. It's not only for the officers. I have the command staff also doing the walk and talk to us. We are going through the neighborhoods and we are talking to the residents to see uh, what their concerns are and the best way uh, that we can deal with the problems that, uh, that are occurring. Now, it's not going to happen overnight. I just want to say that it's not going to happen overnight. But we're moving in a direction to where we are people-based and we are nothing without the people. Madam Mayor, I want to thank you. Okay, I want to. Those are some fucking robots. What they do to that man back there? He looked uncomfortable, didn't he? What the fuck? Thank you for everything that you've done. And I'm going to say that, guess what? We're going to keep it going. All right. Which part of this was a professional board meeting? That whole charade was to stall to give those three, four people a chance to leave the meeting undetected why would janice johnson tangenique miller keith freeman and pete mccain need to go in a room together 
And he didn't look comfortable about it either. I'm a, I got to go back to when Pete actually ended up going over there. I'm sorry. There's a whole nother storyline happening right now. I want to pay attention to when Keith, when Pete ended up actually going back there and on whose direction he did. All right. So unfortunately, Officer Malone has to leave because he has to go back to school, uh, which is a two hour ride away, uh, three hour ride away. Um, he brought the dog so that way you guys can see uh, how the Dalton Police Department is moving in a different direction, in a positive direction, but we also are community based. So we just want to thank you, Madam Mayor. We do. We want to thank you because without you, a lot of this stuff would not be. So we are, uh, and, and I just want to reiterate this is not coming out the general fund. This is money that's coming out of the asset forfeiture, federal and state. That would be including the dog and his equipment and his vehicle. So, Officer Malone, I'm going to say this. When you guys get out. There's a lie being told right now. See, Pete McCain tells. Pete McCain tells by his face. And when there's a lie being told, he lifts his eyebrows and scrunches his nose. I swear to God, his mama will tell you the same thing. He hates to sit and listen to lies be told. It makes him so uncomfortable. I'm not saying he a good guy. I'm saying this is something that gets under his skin. To sit and w listen to somebody lie blatantly. He just heard a lie being told when the when when Lacey mentioned how the dog is being paid for. I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you for rocking with me. And what is this conversation that's happening here between um Michael Delgado and Keith Freeman? Y'all, everybody should be sitting in their motherfucking seats having a goddamn meeting. And this shit is all over the place. The only people sitting in their seats right now is the trustees. So we uh and, and I just want to reiterate, this is not coming out the general fund. This is money that's coming out of the asset forfeiture, federal and state. That would be including the dog and his equipment and his vehicle. So Officer Malone, I'm going to say this. When you guys get out there, bring me some more money. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that being said, uh, Madam Mayor, um, like uh, again, like I had said, the we're doing a walk and talk. OK, and that is not only for the officers. I have the command staff also doing the walk and talk to us. We are going through the neighborhoods and we are talking to the residents to see uh, what their concerns are in the. And see, right now, at the same time, the reason why Tiffany is standing here is because she's giving Keith direction for him and Pete and everybody else to go in the back. Best way uh, that we can deal with the problems with that. that is not only for the officers. I have the command staff also doing the walk and talk to us. We are going through the neighborhoods and we are talking to the residents to see uh, what their concerns are in the best way. Oh, you didn't see how Tiffany looked at Pete and he rolled his eyes like he was about to get a whooping. He might have said he didn't want to do something she wanted to do. He might have said he didn't feel like going out doing something that was campaign work for her. And he wasn't going to continue to because it wasn't in his agreement. It's not in his job description. Uh, that we can deal with the problems that, uh, that are occurring. Now, oh, it's not going to happen overnight. Oh, he's about to get written up for insubordination. He's about to get written up for insubordination. They're about to deliver a write-up, if I understand correctly. Based I on just want to say that it's not going to happen overnight, but we're moving in a direction to where we are people-based and we are nothing without the people. Madam Mayor, I want Now, why would those four people be leaving the mayor's meeting without her knowing who, what, when, where, and why? She is a micromanager. Why would these people be leaving the mayor's meeting without knowing who, what, when, where, why, and why? She would. She knows exactly what's happening right now. She isn't like, hey, where y'all going? What's going on? She didn't look at her phone to see if anybody texted her. She's orchestrating this entire moment. Lacey's job is to create a distraction. He is a rouge. Is that what you call it? I forget. Thank you. Okay, I want to thank you for everything that you've done. And I'm going to say that, guess what? We're going to keep it going. All right. All right, we'll skip to um, Stacey Corral because I don't know what Chief McCain went. 
Thank you, Madam Mayor. Good evening, board. She don't know where Chief McCain went, but she just watched Keith walk Chief McCain into an office along with Tanjanique and Janice Johnson. But she don't know where Chief McCain went. And now Stacy is about to express his frustration to the Dalton trustees for not paying the tree cutting guy because now he owes him $450,000 for some drugs and some trees. Uh, uh, Stacy, you 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 make you the one putting in these orders for the mayor. Your ass is on the line, and not just in one way, honey. It's about to get real dangerous in Dalton. Residents, productivity report what for the October. Fuck is going we are on people based, and we are minute. nothing without the people. Madam Mayor, I want was there yelling or something happening that had Stacy distracted? Thank you. Okay, I want to thank you for everything that you've done. And I'm going to say that, guess what? We're going to keep it going. All right, All right we'll skip to um, Stacey Corral, because I don't know what Chief McCain went. And she's just waiting for her man to acknowledge her. She's just sitting there waiting for him to say hi. Poor girl. And he ain't going to turn around and say hi to you, baby. He like uh, Tiffany the lawyer, too. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. Good evening, board residents. Productivity report for October 2023. Public there works. There is a voice being raised in the background. There is some yelling going on. There is a fiery conversation happening in the next room. And I believe it includes Pete McCain and a write up of some sort for him not showing up to something coming somewhere doing something and that's why he ain't been at the meetings lately because he interviewing has completed 10 shutoff valve repairs four emergency shutoffs eight sewers have been cleaned 17 street lights have been repaired 32 trees have been cut down 28 trees have been trimmed six stop signs have been replaced six vacant lots have been cut and 14 restorations uh winter is approaching residents please be on the lookout for water coming from the ground if you happen to notice something like that during the work hours of 7 a.m to 3 30 p.m please give us a call at 708-201-3280 and if it is after hours which we have a second shift now uh tuesday through saturday and that is i believe 11 to 7 and you can also contact us at 708-201-3280. But if it is after hours and uh, neither shift is at work, please contact dispatch at 708-201-3240. And that concludes my report. They don't have an operator in town where you can press zero and then that person can connect you with any of these departments. Like you have to literally remember that phone number he just said three times. They don't have an operator. I can't. I guess I'm the host now. Uh, we're going to pass it on and, over here to And brother. it looks like Tiffany Henyard has left the meeting. So what's going on in there with Pete? What's going on in the other room? <laughs> brother Moore, you want to do your report? Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, brother Moore? This is a goddamn government meeting. His name is William Moore. Manager William Moore. Director William Moore. He's not brother. We're not at church. God damn it. Okay, um, Madam Mayor, to our dedicated uh, board of trustees and to our residents, our, we appreciate your patience. Um, mayor's not here, but I, I just want to say for the record, um, this mayor is passionate and compassionate about helping the residents. And I think that's indicative of how hard this these department heads work. And I just appreciate each one of them that works in departmentally. I know Stacy and DeMarcus and the finance committee, all these directors, um, we have come together to- Stacy and DeMarcus are most likely leading 
inside public works as far as the drug sales are concerning. I'm not saying they're selling drugs. I'm saying I, I, I'm pretty sure DeMarcus got to flip some keys, but there may be they may be at like a top level of the organization is what I'm saying. I'm guessing. I'm sure Kim is involved somewhere in there, but I honestly see Kim more. Nah, she ain't she ain't managing the girls. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Try to keep the pace with our mayor. And so we appreciate her dedication and her commitment to serving you as the residents. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to give you my reports for housing and permits at a high level. Uh, the amount of fees that we generated for the month of October was $94,810.88. That consisted in part of 20 rental license fees of $6,375.88. 72 as a sale inspection that totaled $17,355. 44 escrow checks deposited at $34,000. 93 housing tickets that totaled $30,080. And on our permits uh, department, our fees that we generated for the month of October, we had 118 building permits at $54,890.40, 31 contractor license that totaled $10,350, and uh, 43 plumbing permits. That oh, and while he's talking numbers, um, let me just remind you as well, uh, my speculation. I do also believe that Tiffany Henyard's boyfriend, uh, Kamal Woods, I think his name is, is also involved in drug sales. I think that he also um, runs drug sales through the youth department. Um, it's funny that he's never in these meetings and you never hear about the youth department. But he makes $100,000 a year and has access to about a million dollar a year budget. $10,445.18 that total in fees generated for the month of October for a permits was $77,985.58. That total for combined departments was $172,796.46, pardon me. Amir, that concludes my report. Thank you and have a good evening. He done with her. He's kind of still mad and disgusted at what he's learned. Chief McCain, you ready? All right, and we have um, Fire Department Chief McCain. Thank you, Mayor, good evening. Village Clerk, Board of Trustees. What in the fuck happened back there? He done took his hat off. They got into it. There was a scuffle. Oh, you not going to tell me this man ain't been in a fight tonight. And he Irish too? You don't fuck with us Irish. <laughs> Chief McCann, you ready? All right, Stacey and we have no. um, five Stacy. No, Stacy used to street shit. Stacy is accustomed to hood shit. He likes the mess, and he knows the mess, and he knows there was a fight back there. And why does Keith Freeman have so many drinks in front of his desk? Why does he have a Mountain Dew, a coffee, and a water? Hmm. Your department, Chief McCain. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening. Village Clerk, Board oh, of Trustees. He just whooped that nigga's ass. Where is Keith? Keith just got his motherfucking ass toe to the frame. I'm telling you. Pete McCain just won that playground fight, nigga. You don't even know. That's a good old Irish boy. They don't play. They shape funny for a reason. My grandfather is Irish. Listen. I'm telling you what I know. The drinking and the fighting is for real. <laughs> One day I'll tell you my maiden name and you'll know I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Listen, Pete McCain just whooped on some motherfucking ass. He just made sure his message got through loud and goddamn clear. Do you hear me, motherfucker? Am I clear, you motherfucker? <laughs> Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, man. <laughs> Tiffany Henry just saw Keith Freeman get pent up. I guarantee. Apartment heads and most importantly, the residents of the village of Dalton. 
I think next meeting I'll bring our little puppy in that visits the firehouse so we can compete with the police department. So, <laughs> meatloaf. But anyways, uh, the fire department has responded uh, year to date, uh, 2023, for 4,697 emergency incidents, uh, 3,099 of which were emergency medical service responses, and 1,598 are fire and motor vehicle accident responses you for the Rosie? total of 4,697. Tell me that man ain't rosy. He rosy. And he ain't popped a button, bitch. <laughs> he say you from Dalton. I'm from the north side of Chicago. <laughs> Tell him, Pete. Tell the feds. This too. calendar year, which uh, averaged about 15 runs a day for uh, the 24-hour tour of duty. In addition, during Fire Prevention Month, the fire department conducted numerous fire drills and fire prevention activities at the schools in our community. In addition, we're going to continue that task in the month of November to make sure we hit all the schools and uh, everyone gets uh, equal opportunity to get uh, the awareness level so we make sure our, our village is safe from fire. And lastly, during this month of October, it's been a very busy month. Um, some of the items were touched, talked about already. The administration, the public safety departments, police, fire, public works, uh, EMA, ESDA. Uh, everyone's worked diligently. Everyone's worked with FEMA, Cook County um, Emergency Management, Illinois EPA, M MWRD, and other regulatory agencies to make sure our residents are being taken care of. For all the incidents that have occurred and resolving those incidents regarding the flooding that we've dealt with, uh, we've been on top of that, trying to make sure our residents are taken care of. The chemical orders that we're dealing with right now, and we're, and we're at the cusp of getting that mitigated as well, and all the complaints and, and obviously the water reservoir. So we're working diligently. We're working as a unified command team, and I look forward to mitigating those incidents and working with everyone. And again, I can't thank my staff enough. Um, uh, the dedicated professional firefighters that we have here were short staffed. We're going to be losing a couple more, so we'll be looking to hire in the very near future. Uh, get that taken care of, but we can continue to give good government service for our community. Thank you, Mayor. So, next um, on the agenda, uh, Water Department. I'm How come she didn't say nothing to Pete? Thank you, Pete. Because her plan just backfired. Keith ain't as tough as you thought he was. Mm -hmm. Just hint on that again. Um, I said that in my report, and that's the digital meter. So uh, we're working on that, guys. So come 2024, you can have some kind of relief as it relates to you getting an accurate reading for that year. But it will take a couple months. They tell me about six months. So we're trying to start it in December. Hopefully, we can get that started December. If not, man, you're welcome. <laughs> I think that gonna, there would be a if they're going into corporate uh, bills and I'm gonna shut it down here and give y'all a break. Uh, let me see. Two, you get an accurate reading for Not that accurate. year, but it will take a couple months. They tell me about six months. So we're trying to start it in December. Hopefully we can get that started December. If not, January will be the final deadline to start it. But I just want you to be aware that we are working on that for you. Uh, next is corporate bills. Uh, trustee. Yes. That is corporate bills, Lord. We are at two hours, 11 minutes, and 22 seconds of this long-ass meeting. Let me write it down. Hold on. Whoo, Jesus, y'all. This is most likely. You see the time at the top. I, I make sure you're able to see these things on purpose. I don't want nobody to ever say I edited they shit. I have reviewed body cam footage and caught skips in the timestamp. Why? Because I went to school to produce television. So I know timestamps like the back of my motherfucking hand. So I'm, I've made sure as much as I can to allow you to be able to see these things in time. So can't nobody go back and say her words are edited or situations are edited. Nope. You can see the time progress at the very top. You can see the date and all. You can even see when I charge my iPad. <laughs> But I'm going to write that down. 222.11 is where we are now. Listen, y'all, this has been quite a ride. I did fall into some of my bad habits of not taking notes. But listen, it was a whole lot here. And I, I, I... I enjoyed it. Um, I, I want to say one last thing before I let y'all go and we come back later and talk about the corporate bills. I will work on the corporate bills bill the corporate bills video tonight 
because uh, my daughter is asleep and I'm going to use this time very wisely. So most likely this particular video you're watching is going to pop up sometime around midnight YouTube time. Uh, and then... Um, and then more well, probably 3 a.m. your time where most of my people are watching from the Eastern time zone. Um, and then um, tomorrow morning ish, you'll get another video that will talk about corporate bills and we'll hear Stan Brown read more numbers. And then I don't think there's anything after corporate bills. There may be a couple other uh, there, there's an override probably and a couple other things that need to be voted on. So uh, there's probably two more videos in this marathon. This is number two. Y'all. Mm, interesting. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. I holler.